went on that junk. Easy now. Stay up. I got money. The wife said she's going to help. She's going to help. She's right there. Okay. Where's the... Should be live. Said we were live. I don't know. People, will you stop fucking Instagramming me so oh my God. I can actually see what's going on. Subscribed. Shows two videos, thumbs up. Videos. Home. What the, what, what the shit here? Oh, there's somebody commenting. Uh, I got my cheaters. There's two. So can see. Oh, oh, wait. He's oh, still wait. trying to pull it up on his phone. Oh, here we go. There you go. There it is. Jason Lund Lundgren, J Dub, Jacque. Holy shit, they're flying by. Adam Wagner. I don't need to know the mileage. Clip. Zip! What's up? You guys come back from shopping? Betty Swain. Ryan the Priest. We got, oh, already got a priest in. Come on back. Which mm -hmm. one? Ryan. Okay. Raven, Blair, Blair, Blair mm -hmm. Homestead, Lou, Steve Bennett. Uh, B Rad, Dave G, the Dick Steel is in the house. Yeah, and he literally said that, and I just I didn't even read that, dude. I just said that. That's fucking the hilarious. Dick Steel. The Dick Steel. The, the Dick house. of Steel. Chatter Caps is in. <laughs> Sparky the Wonder Dog. What's up, Keith? Scott Woody, Jeffrey Wolf, Hugh Perkins, Sierra Priest. There you go. Two priests. Now, now that she's in, we can say this video tonight is sponsored by Hi. Matt and Sierra Priest. <laughs> because they dropped off some Coors yeah. Light outside the door. Oh, I got to get mine still. What the hell am I doing? Uh, like a hound of the gosh and less than an acre homestead. Hey, now. Rick Perry. Oh, no, 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 I don't need to report nothing. IH Farmers in Hill, Michigan Farming. Oh, Priest Farms. We got there you the Priest go. Farms. We're, we're blessed. We we're blessed to all be triple blessed. blessed. Yep. J Dub. And Jim good. doesn't have to bring beer next month. Yeah. I had to message. Do he texts me. He says, Do we need beer? I said, No, I got you covered in the we fridge. Got BYOB it. So now we got Matt and Sierra's for next month. Okay, now I've gotten down to the bottom. Cool. Now I can get my beer and pee already. Pounding water. You know, trying to, trying to. Mad Smith. I'm not calling the angry Swiss, so. Go back to Mad Swiss and use the picture. <laughs> yeah. The Jack Nicholson picture just yeah. makes it. You got to go back to it. Yeah, go make some yellow snow. Look at that, he's breaking the seal. Holy shit, already. Oh, let's see, Jason Carter on Abbott. GMA Merkel, Donald Austin, Mike Blake, what's up? Hunting and stuff, Michigan Farming, Chuck Crawford, Tom Wagner, Idaho Wagner checking in. Okay, so I was just about to ask you related to Adam Wagner, but probably not if you're in Idaho and he's in Buffalo area. Terry Jordan, Hugh Perkins, what's up? If I lived close, I would have brought you some Bud Light. No, no. We would have poured it out on camera then. We don't drink tranny fluid. Midway Farms, Roy Wilson, Jason Lunger. If you're keeping beer for a month, you're doing it wrong. Well, we're keeping it for the next live stream. Well, if I sat home with him, he'd drink it all before the next live stream. So I got, I got to keep it here yeah. so that it'll be here like, for next month. If you don't drink it, it goes bad, right? You got to, like, you know, there's a born on date on Oh, there. Mad Swiss says he doesn't have that picture anymore. What? We'll find it. Fucking Google it, Bob. What the hell? Yeah, but they are. I want to show everyone my new hat. I got, New York I got a brand neck, new so. brand new hat just for this just for this live stream. What's it say? It's oh, got Trump, Trump there. with a middle finger. I'm telling everyone they're number one. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, oh, most of you really liked my... I was just sitting here the other day and oh, I'm boy. getting ready to go to lunch and I looked at my fuck Biden and fuck you for voting him, voting for him. So I took a picture of it and put it on my Instagram story and said, yep, just a reminder. <laughs> just a reminder. Just a this, reminder. Well, like, how, uh, fuck you if you voted for him. Well, you don't have X or whatever, but Don Bangino puts that every day yeah. on, on Twitter. Yeah, Homestead Lou, that Amish farmer, yep. Well, <clears throat> it's no different than... I think him and I both put it up on Instagram because we pretty much see the same shit. Uh -huh. The thing about how 
<clears throat> you know, 50, 75 years ago, you didn't have to license your dog. You didn't have to... You didn't get have a to, license to get married. You didn't, yeah, you didn't have to get a license to get married. You didn't have to get a driver's go, go get permission to, you know, fishing improve license. your house, a fishing license, hunting license. I mean, the property list, taxes. The list is just, you know, you can't take a fucking shit without the government saying it's okay or charging you for doing it. Charging. I mean, and then let's examine what they do with all that money, everyone. Yeah. Are our lives better here in communist New York? I mean, I'm sure glad my state tax dollars are going to build a fucking football stadium that I can give two fucks about, but the roads will rattle the teeth out of my fucking head. Our infrastructure is archaic, to say the fucking least. But yeah. hey, let's build a football stadium. Sally Just B. like the Romans, you know? Let's build the Colosseum and we'll keep the peasants busy so that way they don't, they don't fucking have an uproar. Ed and Sally from Brandon, Florida said they love us. hey from Florida. Sounds like a new name. Could be. Rick Perry, how much snow? Well, we ended up with about a foot, but it's yeah. leaving rapidly. Oh, yeah. Because it's warming up fast. Fuck sled is covered in mud. There's a puddle behind your brother's house. Like oh, I know. It's a swamp. It's <laughs> fucking swimming. All right. So, Matthew Whipf or whatever. I knew somebody would say this. The video was all blurry just saying. It's not really blurry. It's the lights. But if we turn the lights off... It's fucking dark in here. Look you ain't going to see us. If we get blow up on YouTube like the rest of them and we start making a shit ton of money, I can build a, a you know it, a podcast studio on the back of his house. When he gets back to summer and it's light till 9 o'clock, we won't have to have the lights on because the door will be open. But with the lights on, that's what makes it look blurry. Because see, look, if I put my head between the two lights, it gets real blurry because it's even kind of blurry for us because it's, can, I can try to sit it's the glare of the lights. Yeah. So. so sorry. Uh, Richter Farm, what's up? Brad. We don't have professional. Betty opinion. says you get the lake effect snow. Yeah, we, oh, we got yeah. about a foot or a little over. But meanwhile, you travel 20 minutes in either direction and there was nothing. <laughs> Adam says, no, but I wish I lived in Idaho and not this shithole in New York. Yeah. yeah. So, so Adam wants to be related to you and wants to come to Idaho. Idaho. I want to go to Tennessee. This is not where the hurricane I saw a robin in my lawn today. It made me happy. Yeah. I actually saw one the other day, too. Global warming. Saw a couple Appreciate of bluebirds, you. too, which was kind of weird. All right, Michigan farmer's going to find Mad Swiss the picture. Do it. I'll send it to him. Do it. Barry Henneman. Hey, Grumpy and Jimmy from a small town in Wisconsin. Jeez whiz. What's Shirley that? Crouch from PA. Mike, where were those paper thin trails today? Adam Paul wants to know if the live stream is soon. Yeah. Um, it's now. Like, there he goes. And then he sent a photo. Oh, the guy just <laughs> yeah. text or uh, message you on message on me Instagram. on Instagram. Yeah. I can't message soon. you back yep. right now. Yep, it's here. Go on. It's, it's YouTube. Live now. It's here. By the way, I don't know if you made it or not, but if Nina, you're here from from D.C., Virginia. Hi. Yeah, exactly, IH Farmer. You needed a license or at least permission back then to cross the fucking border. Yeah, yeah, you had to be. Yeah. You know, Are we going to get there yet? We want to save on oh, that. We're gonna, I got we're going to get there. I listen, I listen to the Joe Rogan podcast with Dr. Phil, and holy fuck. 388, we'll let a few more yeah. get in before we at explode break, on that. At least got break 400. Before we explode on that. Mark mm -hmm. Comer, what's up? Hey, Jamie. John Shiflett, good Shit. to see you too, near beer. Yeah. Tax your pay and then tax everything else. Exactly. If I got pay a goddamn death tax, for cripes sakes. Yeah, Adam, I saw that today too. Letitia James going after the world's biggest meat producer because agriculture is the world's leader in emissions. Yep. That fucking cunt's going to just try. New York's going to turn into a shithole to start with. They oh, keep, they like keep putting all their, their hopes and prayers on Micron. But you know what? When a company comes into a state... And then figures out what a fucked up state that really is. Bye bye. And the pilot programs run out. You know what they do? They walk away. Yeah. They what? just leave what they built because hey, they got those pilot well, programs. Look at, look at what Miller did years ago. Yep. Yeah, I think they leased. And that for those program. of you that'll ask, because I know I, it strains me a little because I spent eight years in local government, so it, it's weird when people ask that. But pilot, I figure everybody knows, means payment in lieu of taxes. 
In other words, they get a sweet deal to come into your state or wherever your city. Remember when AOC, you know, said that, you know, they should use that, that $5 million for something else in New York City, even though there wasn't $5 million with the Amazon thing? Y'all remember that down, right? The dumb bartender trying to math, you know? She's probably one of those bartenders that couldn't fucking break a 20. But now she's a fucking congresswoman. <laughs> Good choice, New York. New York is shit. That guy's like, this is, what was it, his name? The guy from the Shark Tank. Yeah. It's a loser state. Josh, they just well, set the precedent. Like Josh Wellner just said, he has to have a tracking device on his lobster boat. Yeah, I mean, they got to know every fucking thing you do. They got to know everything over over $601 that you do on but Venmo how many or any trillions? of those things. I can't remember the numbers now, but now the Pentagon has lost trillions of dollars. The government can't track trillions of COVID money. Well, who's, but they want to know about your 600 fucking bucks that who's, you spent on Who's eBay. tracking their fucking Ill, illegalness of, of their stock market bullshit that they pull? Their illegal trading that they do. They don't even know where the money's going that we're fucking, that I won't say we, but it's our fucking money, that they're sending to fucking Ukraine. They don't even know where that money is. William but, oh, Hamilton. Hey, you, you spend $602 on fucking eBay because you wanted to buy a new fucking couch or some shit. Oh, I got to claim that on your taxes. Oh, and 333333333333. I haven't checked my email yet today. I probably have like two of them from. <laughs> yeah, IH Farmer, that's a good question. Not if it falls off the boat, but is it like GPS on golf carts and fancy golf? courses where if you go off course which you know i know about because and then the fucking thing starts yelling at you and then it shuts your cart up if you go somewhere they don't want you to go with your lobster boat does the fucking thing shut you down or something or all coast of a sudden guard come coast out. guard comes out blazing <coughs> fucking guns at you or, or what happens yeah how's that work well, the, 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 fork me now does the, does the golf course police come out and yell at you? No, it makes you put it in reverse and it goes really fucking slow to get back to where you're supposed <laughs> to be. And then it goes off and lets you go back into forward. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what it's going to be like living in a 15-minute city with your electric car. Yep. Because if you go outside your little 15-minute bounds to go visit Meemaw that lives in the other 15-minute city, your little fancy electric yeah. car is going to stop working. Dan Laflamme, or Laflamme, however you pronounce it. We're not good Just at names. Saying. What English. do you think about the visit at the border? Which visit? Well, I think one was a good visit, and the oh, other was a fucking hard? joke. That was a joke. Because first of all, he went where they, no knew, where they knew there'd be no border crossers, because, you know, we got to set it up just right for the ignorant fucking people out there who, like the ignorant fucking people who have commented on my videos lately Boy. that they're not giving the migrants any money. You Hello? fucking stone, $10,000 a month. On a, no, $10,000 on a debit card that every, I think it's three it or four re months. Recharge. Recharges. Not to mention the free hotels. I saw a thing where they figured down in New York City it's costing about 37 bucks a day to feed them three meals a day. And they get a fucking debit card that re-ups every three or four months. It's one of them, too. Multi-million dollar uh, housing building built in Brooklyn, and not one single Brooklyn native can move into it. Why? Because they're going to shove all the migrants in there. Here's another one that I don't know if you heard yet. i seen this one on the Instabase. Don't know how true it is, but hey, wouldn't fucking surprise me. Jewel Mills so if your from neighbor, Texas. If your neighbor is selling their house, right, there's a certain major corporation out there that has buku fucking money. They could buy your neighbor's house and then put migrants in there and collect a fucking government <coughs> check. Yep. So if your neighbor is selling their house, there's a possibility that you could have illegal aliens right next door. And so far, their track record for getting along with us Americans ain't so fucking good. I'm just saying. Perry Thompson says, hi, Grumpy and Mustang J Jimmy. Yeet. Betty Swain, yep. Governor Hitler is now setting up a reparations oh. committee. Yep, just like other Fuck states. Fuck your reparations. So, so we can pay reparations to people who were never slaves, take the money from people who never owned slave owners, like, and in California, where they're really pushing this, for a state that never had slaves. Right, right, right. right. Are you fucking getting it yet? Who's that big, the... the Big black dude, congressman from South Carolina. Talks like a preacher. Oh, he's the lieutenant governor from North Carolina. Um, yeah. He did that. He got, he had that viral video about yes, the guns. Yes, yes. Did uh, you see oh, his shit, I can't think of his name. Robinson, something Robinson. Did you see his speech on reparations? Yep. 
fucking awesome. Your reparations were already paid by the whip in the field. They were paid by the peaceful protest march while they're getting fucking billy club and hose with fucking fire hoses. You don't, your reparations have already been paid. You are a free American with every and, fucking right that we have. And how about we don't forget the fact that Lincoln gave them all, what was it, 40 acres? Yeah. A couple of mules, tools to make something of themselves. How much money would that be in today's money? Yeah. Buy 40 acres of land right now and tell me how much money that is. And, well, then, well. and then the USDA wants to give money out to to, uh, you know, disadvantaged farmers because apparently there's not enough black farmers in, in, in this country. Well, Last I checked, a lot of them got their start by getting this 40 acres and the mules and the tools and everything. And as time went on, they decided they didn't want to be farmers. You know, it, fucking hard work, this, this whole DEI bullshit, you know, Garbage. I mean, define equity. So if you live in an area, like I've said here in our county, <clears throat> that's like 96, 90% white, you expect every board or every, every everything to be 50-50 because that's equity? Wake the fuck up. All, I, all that shit is is a handout. That's all it is. David Fielder, hello from Maine. Maynard. Still using your comment. Put it back the fucking way it was. Exactly. That should be Trump's slogan. I'm going to put it back the way it fucking was. Fucking joke. But no, no, it's still, it, now it's Trump's fault. The, the border problem is Trump's fault now, don't you know? Well, no, last I checked, you geezer fuck. You sat there for an hour and signed a stack of executive orders. 97 executive orders. Record, go record number. Go back to 2021, an interview they did with Mayorkas. I put it, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, I put it on my story. Go watch it. You got to push on it to watch the whole thing. Where he said that we've done away with all of Trump's th policies. Well, I mean, I got, he was proud about it. I got a policy for We've you. done away with all of Trump's policies. This was at the beginning of 2021 mm -hmm. when fucking Papa Joe took over. Mm -hmm. Where are we at now doing away with all those policies? I'll How's that I working got, out? I got some numbers for you of policies. 30,000, 30,000 middle-aged, military-aged male Chinese have come through the southern border. And guess where they've, they've come through the most of them? In the California. Because why wouldn't you? Because yeah. California, why the fuck not? Right. They're buying up farmland. Guess where, well, guess where the most of the farmland is? in and around our military bases. So now we have 30,000 plus military aged Chinese men here and China has now bought said property around our military bases. I mean, do, I, do we need to add two and two to figure out that it's not five? GMA Merkel says. Oh my, I have way too much money. <laughs> GMA Merkel says, I had to pay a tax for my mother-in-law's ashes. I kept my promise, she's in the trunk. <laughs> so Zip says, and I haven't heard this one, Zip. Government won't tell them how much they're getting. Micron said they won't build if they don't get all the money. That doesn't surprise me. Why uh, would they? Well, after all the bullshit that just happened in New York City, I'm, I'm surprised that they're still even considering it. Exactly. Because how, how are they getting the loans to build this fucking building? As Kevin says, who wants to invest in New York after the Trump trial? And there's going to be a lot of businesses that are going to say, fuck you. Just like, yeah, just like in that fucking if, video. If, if you haven't figured it out yet with this two-tier justice system, here, yeah, it's fucking, I you can have it for a minute. Dear with this two-tier justice system going on, it's all falling apart. Okay, uh, Marvin, if you're watching, because I know you're supposed to be, and others who have asked me this question. Okay, Maine... Illinois, Colorado, all these states that are trying to get Trump off the ballot for the for the primaries. They've done a stay on that. So he's on the ballot. So their reason for doing it is try to get people not to show up. But he's on the ballots because well, the courts have put up. a stay on that, waiting for the Supreme Court to do to do their thing and make their judgment, which I hope the fuck is nine zero. That you know, we should not allow two, three, four states, two, three, four judges here and there decide 
who we all can vote for. And this bullshit in New York, I hope the Supreme Court over... The only problem is old Donnie's got to come up with that money or a bond before he can appeal it. They know what they're doing, fucking with him. And the worst part is <clears throat> he's been... I guess you can call it convicted, kind of. I mean, it was it was a civil trial. But he's been forced to pay this $360 million for a victimless crime. Banks would do business with him. They, the they, banks were his defendant. Were, yeah. They came in and <coughs> we, testified we, for we him. We loved it. Paid in full with all the interest. All done. So who's the victim? Just like that guy from Shark Tank, who they were dumb enough to put on a mainstream media television. He's like, take Donald Trump out of the equation. I don't even like the guy. I'm not doing business in this yeah. city. And guess who he hangs out with? It's other fucking millionaires, not us peasants. It's it's no different than Alan Dershowitz, you know, a big time liberal lawyer, you know, em emeritus, whatever, at whatever call, college there. I think I call he bit. hates Trump and would never vote for him. He says, "I want to, I want to vote against him for a third time." But he also says everything that's going on against Trump is bullshit. So it, it's just the thing is, is like you know, a lot of people say, "Well, you know." It'd be different if the shoe's on the other foot. Well, Republicans will never fucking do that. They never want it because they all they all fucking they're all playing on the same fucking team. But it's just so. Grrr. Here's a little something that I got a couple things. We're gonna talk about some Trump policy on the border that I'll piss everyone off here. Really. The quick. first thing is, I sent this to Jim so he he copied it off. My, that's how I do my notes. So we wouldn't have to bring it up. Yeah. Take screen. I'm watching the local news the other night and they do this thing about youth and antidepressants health news yeah health during the pandemic be rad antidepressant use in minors rose 64 percent girls 12 to 17 was up 130 percent women 18 to 25 was up 57 percent yes it was up in boys too but not as much as women which Sorry, ladies, but not you ladies that are here because you're not Karens, but that explains a lot of the Karens of the world. <clears throat> so, our fucking piece of shit governor, Kathy Hitler Hochul, is on the news the other day after this talking about this shit. We're going to spend millions of dollars in grants to put therapists in our school systems for these kids that are just all fucked up because of the pandemic. You did it to them. And just, are you I, fucking getting it? it? Isn't strong enough, folks. Do you want your kids going to therapists in the indoctrination system? Let me, let me. She says this. Wait me, a minute. She says this. She goes, well, this is so parents won't have to take time off from work to take their child yeah, to a therapist. Okay. Yeah. They can just do it in school. Free. Where you government. won't know anything about exactly. what's going on. Because when as soon as he said that, a picture of a therapist, a government therapist, popped in my brain. Some purple-haired, fell-faced person in the tackle box yep. going by X pronoun is going to talk to your fucking kid about yep. their feelings. And if and if it's up that much in younger women, younger girls, yeah. Oh, little Jill. Maybe you think you're little boy. little eight-year-old Jill. Yeah. Do you think you're Johnny? Yeah. We can help well, you we, with that, but your you, parents don't need to they know. Don't need to know. We don't have to tell them. I have a buddy. Uh, I got a buddy of mine that I used to work with years ago, a local fellow. His wife worked at Fulton School, which is 20 minutes from here. For those local folks who know exactly what I'm where I'm talking about. So she had to quit because that was their policy. That if a kid came into school and wanted to go by Zerze, then this whatever the fuck. They were not obligated to inform the parents of, of any of this pretending that these kids were doing. And being that they're a Christian couple, that didn't sit right with her, and she fucking quit. She fucking quit. Found a different job. Yep. Fuck you, the government indoctrination You, you, you want to be a kitty cat? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. We'll get, you a kitty, that's fine. we'll get you a kitty litter box over here in the corner. It's no different than the thing I put up on Instagram earlier before we come out with... Lee Harris is late, but he's here. That military trans talking about oh, fuck. how we need to be you know more well, that, fair to the lgbtq that Air Force fucking thing yes why do the fucking why do the trans that's our military always pick the fucking gayest woman's name brie yeah 
Last I checked, any white female named Bree was a cunt. I'm just saying. But that's that's our sorry military for folks. Here, but I don't know. Yeah, sorry, Bree, if you're in here. Yeah, but I mean, Bree is just like a typical uh, to me. It just seems like a stuck-up middle-aged I mean, fucking housewife. Sounds like a girl that's named Brianna, Bree. and you call her Bree for short. Bree. But and here's another question. That's our military, folks, and you wonder why recruiting is down 25 to 30 percent across the board. The Air Force. Every fucking. The Air Force is calling in retired pilots. Yeah. One, because their recruiting numbers are in the toilet because of all the nonsense going on. Two, is because whatever pilot stayed during the fucking poison injection probably can't fucking fly anymore. Which, by the way, I don't know if you've seen how, you know, the, the, the great overlord CDC came out and now we're going to treat COVID like the flu. Yeah. Yeah, man. Well, that? That's funny. Neither him or I have a doctorate. We've been saying that shit for three fucking years. Doesn't it fall in the same category as the common cold? I yeah. Mean, like I said before. So let me see. No more boosters every two fucking weeks. Like I've said wear before, a mask? because I don't want to piss off those of you following that have that got the dart, because we know some of you have. But God, please, Bless America, please, please be smart stop. enough not no to more. do it again. No more. I watched if you do, I have no problem telling you, you ever, you're a fucking you ever, idiot. You ever scroll through the reels and then oh. you have to click on the thing because it's a graphic video? Yep. And I'm like, yeah, I want to watch it. I mean, yep. it's, it's graphic, so yeah. You can either put CY this, or I watched it. this fucking, um, what do they call it? A fucking a mortician or whatever? Who does, or an autopsy people? Who are those guys called? The coroner. The coroner. Pulled a fucking blood clot out of a dead person's oh, neck that was the size of my fucking pinky. You're talking a mortician then yeah, in a, in a funeral home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A blood clot big around as my pinky come out of this person's fucking neck. Didn't say any, you know, age or anything like that. And then what pisses me off is when I scroll through Instagram or I get these, you know, these emails or whatever from the Epic Times or whatever. And it has this fucking stupid fucking headline on there. You know, doctors baffled because of, you know, heart attacks and, and middle-aged men. How can you be baffled? We don't know by now. Are you fucking kidding me? Or the rise in cancer. Oh, baffled. Oh, doctors yeah. are baffled while child mortality or rate is... is Whatever percent. Yeah. We've imported more illegal aliens than Americans have given birth this year, ladies and gentlemen. It's fucking fucked up. And let's not forget, while they forced you to get one to keep your job. They didn't have to. They didn't ask any of the illegals coming across the border. So now they don't ask them any questions. God knows what fucking diseases yeah. and shit they're yeah. bringing in here. Well, now we, now we have diseases coming in that have been eradicated oh, 50 years ago in this country. And now they're making a comeback. And then I still Thanks. argue with the, with the people who are ignorant enough to say, well, I got it and it wasn't that bad because I got lesser symptoms because I got the shot. Oh my God. Again, folks, the videos are out there where they said to you flat out, get the dart, oh, oh yeah. you cannot get it. It you stops you with you. Get it, you, you can't spread it. it. But meanwhile, while, while they were saying that out of one side of their face, uh. They were saying that us unvaccinated people yeah, were We the should problem. be dead. We should be dead by now. Oh, yeah. Well, remember, we were supposed to be dead, was it? At least July a year ago. Or two years ago. At least a year or two ago. Somebody right. commented on here one time that, you know, oh, you're going to be dead by July. Well, I'm not. And now, and actually, I had this conversation just before I left the house with the wife. Hopefully, she's watching. Hey, lovers. I can, I can specifically remember the look on this guy's fucking face. It was three years ago. And right, specifically. Specifically. Right, right, right. right in the fucking, right smack dab in the height of the fucking plan. <coughs> My youngest son was taking drum lessons in Oswego. You local folks know what I'm talking about. I had to run up to Lowe's after said drum lesson and pick up materials for work. We're standing there just talking. And this old guy, he was probably, I don't know, in his 60s, had his fucking diaper on. And he's standing in line, but he has his head cocked over his shoulder, and he's eye fucking me like no tomorrow. Like with such disgust, how dare you stand there unmasked? So now, today in 2024, when I see the fucktars still wearing their diapers, that's the look I give them. Well, I got a good one for you. So yeah, I'm fucking done. So Wednesday night through like noon, one o'clock Thursday was when we got. The foot of snow, you know, it was, Thursday morning was just nasty. They didn't plow our roads till like 10, 11 o'clock. School was canceled, all this. So Barb was going to go grocery shopping Thursday morning like she normally does. 
So I told her, I said, look, I'm going to wait till close to noon to plow the driveways, you know, because it's supposed to start letting off. I said, go grocery shopping in the afternoon. I'll go with you. That's not always a fun thing, but, you know, yeah, not always a fun I, thing for her neither. I get, but I get roped in the wall. So I, I went, and, 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 I and she, yeah, she was happy that I went, but so we're going around the grocery store, and here's this dude that's probably in his, looking at him, early to mid-60s, wearing, wearing an N95. And we must have ran into the guy at least four times, you know, going up and down aisles. Did you cough like crazy? Oh, I just made sure every time we went by the guy <laughs> that I had to cough, and I... You know, I had to cough towards him. Didn't bother to put my arm. I just went. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, like he said, that guy was I fucking me in the ear. I mean, he was just. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you. So then we come around again, and it was almost like one time he, he sped up with his cart to try and get away. Get out. And I was oh kind of like walking fast behind him, coughing. The invisible <laughs> virus is going to kill me. Guaranteed he's probably fucking jabbed and boosted to the balls. Well, the reason why me and the wife got in this conversation was the same thing. She went grocery shopping. And she goes to the all dies or whatever, you know, you got to put your quarter in. This bra's wearing it outdoors. Yeah. Outside. Well, on our so. way home, because those of you local, Zip, I think you and Sarah shop at the Wegmans in Auburn, because that's where we usually go, unless we're going that way, and then we shop, you know, Wegmans that way. And on the way home, here's this dude walking down the sidewalk in Auburn, all by himself, got his hood up, because it was miserable Thursday, even when it stopped snowing, it was cold and windy. Got the N95 on his face. And I'm like, I mean, we wear them kind of things. He probably does too for his work. They're fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. And it's hard to breathe in them. And it's not And you're made sucking so back in your own all fucking day breath. Use. Like I've pulled down like, you know, be working in like an old ass fucking house, lath and plaster, just nasty shit, right? And I don't care what temperature it is. It could be 90 degrees outside or 20 degrees outside. When we, you know, decide to take a break or whatever, and I take that fucking, it is just it's filthy. So, it's, uh, soaked. it's It's soaking wet. Yeah. With all my exhaust that I've been breathing on it. Why would you want to wear that? I put it on at the end of the day when we're combining to blow the combine off with the leaf blower so I don't suck in all the fucking bean dust and shit like that. And I can't wait to get it off. And even with we, wearing that shit. Yeah, so we good. go in a fucking grain bin when we get down to the bottom of them. We can't wait till the truck's loaded to get the fucking thing off. I mean, and then you're oh. wandering around in fucking Wegmans with your your cart for two hours. Showing 801 folks showed up on mine. You got 799. You're appreciate slacking it. on the thumbs up. Yeah, though. somebody just said you're slacking on the thumb, but appreciate y'all showing up. For those that need to know, you just go out. X out of the comments, yeah. push thumbs if up. If you're watching on the TV, all you gotta do is uh, scroll me. up and go And then over. push yep. back in. To like it helps that. with the algorithm. Trust me, I found out the other week when I just titled my show. 2010 last time. That was a, I think that was a record. So we should start keeping Y'all need to start calling your friends and tell them to get on so we can break the thumbs up. I'm hoping times. I got some of my new subscribers showed up because that would that that video went viral. I was 22,000 22, views on that. Just because I titled it New York City Trucker Boycott. All right, so something And the else, fucktards that were in the comments was hilarious. Something else I want to want to talk about, because if my sister and brother-in-law are watching, my sister texted me and told me try not to blow a gasket, but... Oh, did we have... Oh, this yeah. one really fucking gets me. Goodbye, Mitch. We're losing... Oh, all yeah, McConnell. got old Mitch McConnell. That's just... brings tears to my eyes. Oh, yep. Yeah. Lake and Riley. Yeah, say her name. Say her yeah. name, fucking yeah. Joe. Her and the others that have been murdered or raped George or Floyd, both. George Floyd, George Floyd, yeah. George Floyd, burn, burn, burn. The the twenty twenty two year old nursing student down there in Georgia. Yep. Did you see that, that motherfucker that did it? Came in here in two thousand twenty two, had been arrested previously, and of course let Lango. off. And then he fuck. It was either yesterday or today that that family had her funeral. And that one hits me hard because I got a 20-year-old daughter in college. And I'm, I just, I can't fucking imagine what that family's going through. And then that mayor of Athens, Georgia, Democratic He's mayor, fucking shit. does that fucking press conference where the people are screaming at him and he's going, we're, you're just here to listen. You're just here to listen. Fuck you. You were elected to work for the people, you useless cocksucking motherfucking piece of shit. Oh. What if it was his daughter? Exactly. And Would it make a difference then? God help me, because I know this is horrible to say, 
But that's what needs to fucking happen. It needs to start happening to some of these fucking lunatic Democrat motherfuckers that are all so great and want these, dem want these fucking illegals to come in here. Let your family get fucking raped and murdered. See how you feel, you cocksucking motherfucker. I wish somebody in the crowd had jumped. Did you notice the cop standing behind him? The guy even looked at the cop once, and the cop just stood here like this. Like yeah, You right could almost right. read his mind. He was like, fuck you, dude. You're shit. on your own. Mm -hmm. I wish somebody had gotten and beat that motherfucker. Oh, so then, then, I can't remember who she was, but some Democrat senator woman made the comment that, well, maybe she shouldn't have been out jogging alone. Okay. So we live in a country now where we can't go out by ourselves right. because we should be in fear of being fucking right. raped or right. murdered. Right. Going to have to lock all the doors. Fuck and you. Lock all the doors and windows and get a treadmill. God forbid you go outdoors. And meanwhile, here in comedy, I don't even know where I can carry my gun in New York. The law has been changed and gone to the Supreme Court back and forth. I have no fucking clue. So they want you fucking defenseless. I don't care if I go to fucking hell for saying that. I want one of their family members to have that happen to them. Because at least when I'm in hell, I hope they got a place where we can be right next to each other so I can beat your fucking ass while we're in hell. For eternity. You cocksucker, for eternity. For eternity. That would be great. So then, I got even more pissed off. I saw this one today. I don't know if anybody else has. This Democrat senator woman from Kentucky with a perfect name. Karen, Karen Berg, Senator from Kentucky. Careful there, swampy music. Starts, what you're saying out there, bud. I'm with you, but careful. Talking about sex dolls oh, for Jesus. the maps. You know the maps? Uh, the minor attracted people? You mean the people that need to go to wood chipper? The feet pedophile first? motherfuckers? Exactly. Pedophile. Fucking pedophile. So, you know, kind of like the, the, the fucking he she in the military there that says we're too cruel about the he she's. Fuck. That we're Sad. we're too cruel about them the map people. You haven't even seen cruel so, yet, mother. So there's been some studies, but not a lot. But we should do more studies, she says, on giving these people these sex dolls. Was it that shaven head bitch? No, this woman had hair. Oh, I couldn't go. But we should give these maps, minor attractive people, these sex dolls. No. Because it would probably be you know good therapy for them. Someone How about Google, we give them this? Someone Google. Okay, how they're much, a pedophile yes. motherfucker. Someone Google and put in the comments how much one nine millimeter round costs. And then let's Google how much a sex doll costs. And compare the two and see which one of our tax paying dollars it really needs to go to. What state just made what state just uh, Those are two things that set me right the fuck up. But there is a there's a red state that just passed a law that they're gonna be put to death. Oh, yes, I saw that. Fuck, I can't remember what state it was. What, like, you, there's you, one state Utah? in the union. Utah? Is it Utah or Idaho? One of you some, guys yeah, up there, I think. Guys, if one of you guys know what state it is, yeah. put it in the comments. I can't remember oh. what state it was. <clears throat> so on a d different subject, though, we all know how, you know, Biden's not going to get charged for his documents oh, like, yeah. like Trump. But did you see that the White House doctor came out and said he's in perfect physical and mental health? Yeah, 22 cents. 22 cents. For a 9 million. Perfect mental and physical health. Then I guess he oh, can no. be fucking tried, right? Mr. Will must be around here. It's 30 cents. No. <laughs> We're getting conflicting cents, but it's still cents. It's on still dollar. fucking cheap. Yep, yep. A good silicone but, doll looking but, at 10 years ago, out of curiosity, it cost over 1,200 bucks. Uh, so but, 1,200 bucks or 30 cents. But speaking of kids, right? So it's not just our kids in this country that are getting fucked up. So I just listened to the, the Joe Rogan podcast that had Dr. Phil on there. And Dr. Phil went down to the border and talked to the border yeah. agents and shit. And he's actually starting his own news network because he's sick and tired of the lies. This guy is not very political. Yeah, and he put them cunts on the view in their oh place, Oh, my too. God, I loved it. But here's the deal. Check this. So we were just talking about how Papa Joe just shit can all Trump's <laughs> policies on the border. So one of those policies was rapid DNA testing. And Dr. Phil was talking about this, saying that they're getting hundreds of children coming across with just addresses written on their body or on their clothes. And yep. that's their family member. Prior to that, when Big Daddy Don was and in charge. And they really aren't. 
they would do a rapid DNA test and confirm that that was a family yep. member. Now they're not doing that. Nope. Our tax dollars are paying for child traffic. So again, going back to the Sound of Freedom, is that what it was called? Oh, yeah. Sound of Freedom oh, my God. movie. $150 oh. billion dollar industry, fucking child it's, sex trafficking. Is. I guarantee by the end of 2024. But let's even, give them Owls, they'll be all right. Even even after November, I guarantee you by the end of this year, that's gonna that will be the number one money maker. It's gonna be above drugs and above uh, weapons. I think I it already you. is. It was pretty fucking close when that movie came out. I could, it's, I, it's probably all the way there know, now. How many years has our government been fighting the war on drugs? Yeah, that but yet now we have a hundred thousand people They're a year dying of drug cartels. Overdose. They're in bed with the cartels. They're making eight thousand plus dollars a head so to tell bring me, these little kids across. Tell me anything that the motherfucking government does that they're good at, other than take our fucking money and lie to us. Nothing. And that's the part, folks. I don't get with the people who want to argue, and because their fucking hatred for the orange man is so, so bad, oh, yeah. they don't give a fuck if our society gets completely torn apart. Until it happens to them or their family. Again, going back to the sad statement of saying that's what needs to fucking happen before people wake the fuck up that a dollar eighty gas, cheap food, good economy, everybody's retirement funds doing well, no wars, no funding wars, I ran out of fingers. Well, they <coughs> as per usual, the left just projects and it. not a fucking open border. Yeah. So if you remember down back in 2016, all the left was screaming about was how Trump was going to crash the economy. We were going to get involved in World War III. Yep. This, that, the other fucking thing. Well, I don't know about you folks, but look around. I'm pretty sure all of that horse shit that they were talking about four years ago is fucking happening now. And then, and then you got the dumb fucks that just listen to the Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, yeah, just like her today. She makes a statement uh, talking about Trump's case with, you know, did he have immunity for these documents? Well, you know what immunity would mean? Trump gets back in. He, he could just, he could put all the Democrats in jail. Good. So I guess that means that, that Biden could put all the Republicans in jail. That's not what it fucking means, you stupid cunt. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, but the stupid cunts that listen to her will go along with it. Uh, and that? I'm talking swinging dick cunts, too. Isn't that show on, like, every day? Yep. Every What did they talk about other than Trump? I mean, I, Pretty I mean, much Trump. This is Trump. It's no different than, He's like, the nighttime show. Gone for three Cole Bear and all them, that's all they do and is trash Trump. All their views, I'm thinking, are in the toilet anyway. I mean, some people are waking up. But it's uh, well, the black people are starting to wake up. Some of them, I, but it's kind of a sad thing because they're waking up because the shit that they were getting they is, now get being, the, is now being given to the to the oh, illegals. Oh shit, we can't get the free gun. It's a little bit up. sad that that's why you're waking up, but but I'm a racist for saying that. Oh, yeah. You know, racist for saying that you've been on the plantation ever since fucking LBJ was in office because that was his plan. I'll have all these N words. Voting Democrat for the next 50 years. Well, it must be he was a goddamn psychic because that's what they've been doing. And there was no big switch, none of that bullshit. It's always been Republicans, non-slave, Democrats, slave. KKK to hold on yards. Which brings me to another point. And again, now where you know, is the KKK? And now you know why we only do this once a month now. My blood pressure, the wife just texted me something. I didn't catch it. Because I just. But where is the, I mean, I thought, you know, where is the KKK? I'm confused. With all this diversity that we got going on. Yeah, where's all you know, the all white these, nationals? All these non white people coming across. The skinheads, the where's all that? It's kind of weird. Especially, oh. especially the ties to the Democratic but Party. Speaking of which, did you see that one professor? And I don't know who the other guy was. Fuck. They wrote that book. Something about how us rural white people are all racist and whatnot. Oh, my. Those two white fucking guilt cunt motherfuckers. Yep, yep. And they're white. And that's exactly what it is. It's no different than the 20-year-old oh, right? college white kid out there kneeling and all that. Fuck. You're fucking indoctrinated, idiot. Wake the fuck up. There's one race, the human race. Period. End of story. We all have the same fucking God-given right to try and make something of ourselves. It's like there's there's a there's a picture out there. People turn it into a meme, and it's a bunch of fat, overweight fucks. Like most of them crossing the border, standing around a chess table, and under what's holding up the table is just people. 
that's why the mainstream media and all these liberal politicians all want to push race, 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 and divide, 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 because if we were all to come together and stand up, the fucking game would be over. That's why I mean the wife were talking before I came down there. They, that's why they hate us middle class people. They despise us, you know, what's left of the middle class because we, we make just enough money to be able to pay attention on what the fuck they're doing. Because if you, do you think that some single mom in the ghetto barely getting by on food stamps has time to think about politics and why this policy is this, that, and the other? No! She's too busy trying to fucking feed her kids and hopefully not get them in a gang and keep the lights on. That's what the government wants for all of us. Not yeah. think, just fucking go out like and take Rich, our hand out. Like Richard Cranium just said, what he's talking about. It's a big club and we ain't in it. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. It's fucking... And that's the sad part. They want all of us arguing amongst ourselves when in reality, they're going to treat all of us the same, like shit. So liberal, it should be us versus the elites and the government. You know, when shit really hits, if shit ever really hits the fan, all your virtual signaling and your fucking Ukrainian flag posted on your face face fucking account ain't gonna fucking amount to shit. You're all, we're all gonna get run over equally. How's that? Horse. No, we don't watch the... Fuck. I see the clips on Instagram yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, we see the viral clips. That wouldn't waste fucking two seconds. I can't even stand watching. Exactly, television. Mike Blake. If one political party came in and actually fixed all the problems here, then the show is over. They can't have that. Yeah. That's why they're a un Most of them are a uni party. Which well, is why like, they want Trump gone because right. he was exposing petrified. the fact that it's all a uni party. Fucking petrified. Why do we have to wait till? Holy shit. Mmm. Grrr. Ah, what's next? Exactly, Sierra. It's true, though. Most of them are career welfare babies. Sorry, but I'll say what everyone is thinking. Exactly. Well, yeah, we're on third, fourth generation. No different now. than my letter to the editor back in 2020 that made me a racist and got the NAACP after me and all that. I said what the majority of people were thinking. You're out there burning the fucking country down, beating people up, killing them. Why? Because you all of a sudden worship the fucking guy who held a gun to a pregnant woman's who died belly of and a died of a drug overdose, overdose because he was a fucking drug overdose piece of after shit. After the police officer and, that was charged for murder was we stabbed made, to death. And we made murals about him and statues because he was just a fucking... So where's all the burning and killing from this this girl, this college girl getting killed by a fucking illegal then. All of us should just go out and burn our own town, Fuck. right? Because that's what usually makes sense. We, we don't need a statue for her, Joe. We just need you to say her fucking name, Joe. Say her and the other girls had the same unfortunate outcome. Say their names, Joe. And it's all because of your motherfucking open border policy. He thinks a dead Mexican president is in Gaza. He can't even keep his, fucking, his own kids' names fucking straight. Goddamn elder abuse at this point. Which, by the way, they get him pumped up on drugs. When he, when he actually has semi-coherent sentences, he's actually pumped up on fucking amphetamines. Because the wife got me this new T-shirt. I don't know if y'all can see that shit. Yeah. Awesome. Fucking Tucker, baby! Okay. Which, by the way, those of you that may or may not have watched the video, the interview that he had with Putin or whatever, uh, come to find out that... Uh, you got 9.29, 9.36. We're getting there, oh, come on. We're getting there, Push baby. her over a 1,000. You're still come fucking on. slackers with the thumbs up, what though, 5.11. What the hell? What time we got? We got... Da, 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 da. Oh, shit, man, we're only fucking 36 minutes in. We're good. No, we're almost an hour, and it was about a quarter of them. Oh, we, we were a little bit early, yeah. We always start early. They know. They show up fault. early. Yeah, you know, it's my fault. Not really, but... Exactly. Blake, the 99% are bending the knee to the 1%. Makes zero fucking sense. Yep. Zero sense. I don't know about you, but that video I got with all those new subscribers that came in, the over... The most... Like, what's the word I'm looking for? The majority of the comments were, 
I, you think, you know, you are saying exactly what I think. I can't believe someone else is out. That's why we're here. To confirm with you folks that you're not alone, that yes. And by the way, it is only 1%. The mainstream <laughs> right. media wants to make you think that there's more of those purple-haired, fell-faced first in the tackle box weirdos than there is of us. Ben Barry. I don't know how long you've been in, oh boy. but Illinois did not strip Trump's name from the ballot. Yes, they've tried, but there is a stay on Illinois, Colorado, Maine, all of those states that have tried to do it. The courts have put a stay on Maine. it so that the Supreme Court could rule on it. The Supreme Court's not going to rule on it till after the fucking primary, Super Tuesday, all that. And when Trump wins them, the Supreme Court will rule on it. And I'm quite sure they will rule in Trump's favor. Yes. So they keep pushing that they're off the ballot because they're hoping people will stay home. Ooh. Well, there's no sense in going out. He's no. not on the ballot. No. And that fucking cunt, Nikki Haley, that dumb who bitch. once upon a time I sort of liked, but now she's proven just bought how far up for. she is bought and paid for bought in the Uniparty. party. Bought and, she might she can go she fucking bye-bye pretty Her quick. And, uh, who's that other fucking... Wicked right. After watching Christy Nome's speech at CPAC, Big Daddy Donnie, I hope you pick her as your vice president. Because I could go for fucking 12 years, four years of you, and eight years of Christy Nome. Why did I not know that name? She's the governor of South Dakota, which is probably the most oh, prosperous state like in this her. country. You like her because she's. Well, she's good looking for one, <laughs> yes, but she she's the kind of person who can. She's really even keeled. That she could tell us both to sit down, and we would, yep. because she would gain that much respect. I mean, then she isn't she one? Her and and, and uh, Huckabee, I believe, are the only two governors that made it where China cannot buy property yep. in their state. Which that in itself is unfucking believable. Like, could there? I'm I'm assuming we got a handful of farmers in here. Do you do you think that you could just buy some property in China? Willy nilly. Yeah. Fuck no. Exactly. So why in the fuck? I mean, last I checked, they're still our enemy, even though all of our shit comes from them. Why are they buying property in our country? And why is it always around and near a military base? I'm just, you know, I'm just a guy out in someone else's barn asking questions now. And yes, I know we're behind because you people flow it. Uh, well, we got and 900. If we, and if we try to read them all, yeah. It's a little hard to actually say what we want oh, no, to say. Down. No, we dropped some. Yours says 808. Yours says 8. That still says 813. I don't know. Maybe we got in. Maybe maybe 100 of you fucking libtard pieces of shit left because you couldn't yeah, stand couldn't the truth. Stand the truth. Yeah, fuck off. I'm not here to convince sheep. I'm here to gather lions. That's my that's my new motto. I'm not here to try to convince no. anyone anywhere. Ed, Edsky. He's still trying. I don't want Tucker for vice president. I want Tucker for press secretary. For press secretary. God, that was that would slay. be fucking awesome. Would fucking Tucker slay. being press secretary oh, to the yeah. all Compared the to that fucking John Deere toilet brush that we yeah. got that spews lies every fucking day. Ducey fucking gets her so pissed off. She's just like, all right, all right. Boop, that's done. We're done for the day. T Y N Y Y N. Tinin? Tinine? I don't have any fucking Tinin, clue Tinin. how to pronounce your name, strike, but know the trucker strike. strike. We're about four hours from New York City. So, uh, yeah. really no effect to us up here. Until someone made a comment or whatever I was talking about. Yeah, at least not until, yet. Let's put it that way. Until they start starving and then they get day drivers, regular cab, not. Over road guys, day cab guys your, from the city. Your wife is sending you stuff. I don't on. know. She should be watching. <laughs> I can't. I can't read it, lover. I'm. We're on my phone. You remember? Anywho's, until they until they start starving enough, where they send day cab drivers up here to take our groceries, which I that wouldn't it wouldn't fucking surprise me, because everything that we do up here revolves around that shithole fucking city. Well, Mike Waldner, it's not as easy as you make it sound. You said that, right? You should get the hell out of your state. I love South Dakota. I'd love to be in, like, South Carolina or Tennessee, Tennessee. two other good states. I don't want to go somewhere where it's still cold in the winter. But anyways, I, I got a going to be a 92-year-old mother that's still here alive. I mean, it's it's. I'm only going to be 57 in a few months, so it's 
It's not like I can just pack up and leave. And the only way that I, I'm in the same I'm going to be here for a little while. My still. parents aren't as old, but I'm in the same boat. Now I got grandkids and all that shit. The only way I can make it happen, which... But I a, will be out of here eventually. ...is a pipe dream would be to... You know, to buy a compound like the like the Tate brothers have and move the whole fam damnly into the motherfucker. I'm talking 600 acres, gated gardens, the whole fucking nine yards. Obviously, I'm not a multimillionaire, so that's not happening anytime An soon. Anthony Hengst, back end getting chemo, loving every minute of this, psychs us up, psychs us all up. Hell yeah, Why, you, you got us on... Speaker or whatever for right, the other people get chemo. Everyone else hearing this shit. God bless you all. Hope, it, yeah, hope get things well, go, man. go get good well. for you. If you're all listening, we're giving a shout out to the chemo people. Get home. Make sure you get some weed. It's going to help that shit out. I've heard. Or at least some edibles or something. It'll help with the, help with the, the stomach, I guess. Mm. Amanda, a Amanda's... A man dies, secret garden. It's refreshing to hear folks as fed up as I am. Well, I think there's a lot of people fed up. There's way the more. And I've said this to other people that have come up to me before and said, oh, you, you think just like me. You know. Then fucking say something. Exactly. Or, or they'll say, I wish I could say it. Why not? Say it. It's, I am title of this video. What was it I made it? Is this the end or, or possibly or the, the beginning? beginning? Because if it's Biden again or it's one of his fucking end. or one of his plants, because we, we know he might not get there, he ain't getting there. it's the end. It's but if it's four years, years of Trump and possibly eight years of an excellent vice president he picks after that, in 12 years, we might actually put this country back on the map as being the big dog in the world. It's and you know what? It's going to take them four years. To Anybody that wants to bitch at me about that, I don't give a fuck. Don't I want to be the big dog in the world. Mm -hmm. We don't need to bow to we any other leaders like Obama did. 1945, 1946, 47, 48, 49, we were the shit. We were the fucking shit. And no one dared fuck with us. Huh. Chuck says old Nookie Na Haley. Took on the establishment in South Carolina behind restaurants in her Escalade one at a time. <coughs> Losing my voice. Mm. Fucking allergies have been brutal the past week. 64, 15 this morning at 5.30. Yeah. 65 on Monday again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rode sled today and I probably could have rode my bike this afternoon. It's, yeah. <clears throat> Climate change. It changes. Yep. It's called four seasons here. Oh, like, Spring, well, summer, fall, and winter. All in one fucking We day. just don't know. Winter's been a little suspect. Yeah. It's sus. <laughs> winter's a little sus. Holy fuck. But yeah, getting back. This is the last election, y'all. If, and I say we, you know, like people, you know, talk about their football teams, we. If we don't get someone, which at this point, the only option is Donald Trump. In as the president to get this well, fucking boat righted. Exactly, because like Carl just said, they own your president. Yep. Yeah. They ain't gonna own Donnie. That was they didn't the own Donnie. Like that's the whole reason. Prior to that, they all fucking loved him. I mean, Christ Almighty, Clintons went to his fucking wedding. There's video out there saying Hillary Clinton literally saying that he would make a great president someday. Lloyd Y'all remember that video? Lloyd Nace, exactly what you just said. I'm from South Dakota and I'm proud of our governor and I sure hope Trump chooses her. She's done good in this state. She's not perfect, but no one is. Exactly. No. No, and no that's one Trump's is. problem. He's not perfect because asshole. he's a pompous ass sometimes. And well, we could be considered pompous asses too, the way we speak. But you know what? I want somebody who's gonna be willing Say it as He's it got is. Fucking balls, but I look at his record, not whether or not he hurt my feelings. My new here's here's one for all you folks, because I'm I'm assuming that probably 90% of you folks are Trump supporters. And the next time you get in a conversation, which you should get in a conversation with family, whatever, right? Whatever. While wearing tell your are you getting it yet yeah. stuff, so that when they ask why, you can tell them. And when he starts shameless plug. When he when he when he starts to ah, just tell them tell them this. 
Ignore the man. Ignore his vocabulary. Ignore the way he speaks. Look at the policy. This isn't a high school president election that we're talking about. This isn't about being the most popular fucking penis here. You know, we're talking about the leader of the free world. The pipeline would have been done. The border would have been done. The bullshit in Ukraine would not be happening the right now. The free world is not so free anymore. Fuck no. The way we're going. We're getting taxed to death. Ed Groceries through the roof. 401ks still fucking trash. Edward Auger, do you think Lauren Boebert will get reelected? I have no idea. Who the fuck is Lauren? In Colorado. The good looking little congresswoman there who got caught in a the movie theater fondling with oh, her boyfriend because her and her husband's got divorced and her 18 year old Jesus, kid just got arrested for like 20 different things. Uh, her and her family are so fucked. Do better. Sounds, Find a better Republican. That sounds like some white trash Walmart right there. If you yep. Holy shit. And by a the lot way, of people from South Dakota who's saying great things about Christy Nome. By the way, by the by, it's not only our election. There's 40 other Democratic-like-ish countries that are also having elections this year. And let's not all forget about the World Economic Forum and their great plan for the yep. fucking planet. So it's important everywhere. Everywhere. Excuse me. Bless Mike you. Blake. Nikki Haley isn't dropping out because... She knows something we don't. Well, she's just... Yes and no. She's not dropping out because she's hoping all the court cases go her but, way. But, but all of her big backers... Because she out. just made the statement that they all need to be settled by November. Because that's the only fair thing for people, you know, for the election. Uh, <clears throat> well, first of all, even like if he's Democrat. put in jail, you could still elect him. And guess what? He can pardon his own ass and come on out. Speaking of pardon. I got one bone to pick with Mr. Trump. One bone. I've yet, I don't know about y'all, maybe I'm missing something or whatever, or maybe it just hasn't been brought up because I know the guy's a little busy. <laughs> Ken's desert plus what? you guys are drinking. Yeah, we usually Fuck drink yeah. during this. What has he got, like 92 indictments? And smoke cigars. 90 something indictments. So yeah, I get it. The guy's probably busy, right? But obviously he's doing all these speeches and all this shit. I would really like to see him say something about all these poor boys that are incarcerated from this January 6th bullshit. How about a presidential pardon for those folks? I don't think I've heard that yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, well, please do. I, but I no, haven't heard nothing. I'm not gonna correct you. I'm gonna say I think he's smart for not saying not anything saying about that, that yet. Because- well, What's he gonna be, de Because, <laughs> well, the, me the media will just run with that something oh, brutal. Jesus. Insurrection, insurrection. Even though he's never been charged with insurrection. No one has! Which is why you can't take him off the ballot, by the no way. Which is why there's a stay, and the Supreme Court should, you know, determine oh, bye, that. Bye, that shit. But I, I think he's kind of smart for doing that. And do I think he will I hope so. exonerate all I of them? I fucking hope so. No. Well, but I think he will the majority of them. Because there's some of them that don't deserve to be pardoned. Because there's some of them that did do shit they shouldn't have done. But for the ones that just basically but it was didn't proven, do a whole lot of anything and still got roped in. But it was proven to be in trap. <laughs> oh, I know. Still. Let's not forget about the pipe bombs that the, the certain three letter words that planted around around the place that luckily didn't go off. But let's not indict those folks, right? Let's not let's not investigate the three letter entities in this country that ruin everything that we ever get involved with. Hence the, hence the little meaning that, you know, and take it for what it's worth. But Putin literally told, you know, Tucker that he had deal, he had drug deals with not one, not two, but three sitting U.S. presidents. And they all went to shit because of a certain three-letter entity in this, in this country that ruined everything and gets us involved in bullshit that we shouldn't be have nothing to do with. Fucking Rob, Missouri Rob. I'm not even going to read it because other oh, people are shit. reading it. Oh, boy. I, oh, boy. I'm, 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 fucking I'm, dick. <laughs> fucking dick. <laughs> Everybody Man. else gets to read it. So I'm not reading it, you fucker. <laughs> I'm sure you fucking would, bud. <laughs> Dixie shit. Dog said I would love Tucker in that position. Exactly. Can you imagine? Oh my God. I would, would tune slay. in every fucking day for the press secretary 
lives. I, I mean, my God, that would be, I'd get popcorn made, grab some beer. That would be fucking awesome. I watch, I can barely get through the 60 second clips that are on Instagram of that dumb lying bitch that we have now. Can you imagine, Tucker? Okay, fake news, Sienna. Go ahead, ask your question. Mm -hmm. Yep. MSNBC, you suck. Yep. Go ahead. What do you got? <laughs> Dixie Dog says, hello, Missouri. Tell us how you really feel about her. <laughs> Well, uh, ah. H-Farmer says, Missouri Rob, that's quite an image. Yeah, <laughs> sick fuck. That's a long ways to go, bud. I mean, we talking like hard glass, like ground Yeah, glass, resto like guy won. Forget trying to talk to a lib licker. Better off talking to a wall. All exactly. the time. He'll fucking message me, you know, oh, been on Instagram, argue. Why? Why waste your time? You cannot. It's but it's funny because... Here, I'll let you, you scroll just, you just for a while. You think you're going to get them. No, but it's funny because the last one I went at it with, I kept repeating, asking the same, you know, what was so bad with Trump? You didn't like dollar eighty gas, you know, low inflation, nah. low interest rates, blah, 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 blah. And this person started literally reciting a CNN headline of, of his... His charges against him and all that. And then I answered back. I said, Did you Google hmm, that off the scene? I didn't see insurrection in there. Kind of hard to say he shouldn't be on the ballot for insurrection when never been charged for it. They go on and on again. And finally, they're like, I don't need to talk to you anymore. And I'll, I go to reply one more time. And I get the, this person doesn't let everyone reply to them. Shocker. And then all of our back and forth got blocked and deleted. Poof, they're okay. gone. Jack Wee. So uh, Jack Wee says it's the own operators that are boycotting. Not all of them. I mean, yes, but there is some. Some companies. company guys are saying nope to their company. When I and the companies did, can't afford to fire them. No. When I did my little viral video that. You but know, Google's going to take their bank accounts like Trudeau did. Yeah, fuck her. How's she supposed to figure out who's not coming? Ogle says we're going to take their bank accounts. This is gone. I mean, some of you folks... Cunt! Out, cunt! Some of you folks are out west could probably concur in the comments or whatever, but this has gone kind of viral, and there is trucking comp comp company. Like, nope, we're not going either. Fuck it. Because literally it costs them... I don't think... A lot of these paid companies Ugh. make a shit ton of money to go to New York. Here, number three for the guy who said he liked the fact that we drink too. Two hundred and twenty dollars per truck just to get into the city, with all the bridge tolls and this toll and that toll and all our bullshit. It's a short drive across the road when we're done. I've delivered three times down in New York City when I drove truck, and it is a fucking pain in the ass. And nope. How far back behind are we? Hit the area. Oh, we're a long time. Macon County, Tennessee is in now, so I appreciate it. Holy fuck. Ah, not rawr, that rawr, bad, rawr. though. We got, we're back up to 847. Not I'm that bad, eight, 852. So, I don't know. Maybe I saw 858 at one YouTube's point. YouTube's fucking, you, do, you got the same shit. I've had YouTube some people, fucks with me all the I've time. I've had some people like, oh, I had to resubscribe. Yep, I get it all so the time. So, y'all check your shit. Make sure, I mean, obviously, if you're here, then you got the notification. But yeah. if you're subscribed to my channel... Check it, and, because and those, YouTube likes to f play fuck fuck. And games. those that like to yell at me and say, why did you unsubscribe me? I never we said don't anything have bad. That. We can't. I don't know how to unsubscribe no. somebody. That's ScrewTube. $100 hazardous duty pay to drive into the jungle. I'd need a fuck ton more than that. Yeah. Especially if I had to spend I have no desire to go to that fucking city. Nope, nope. Last or any I, city like that, last Chicago. Last time I was down there was 2001 in September. I mean, there you go, folks. Just look at that. New York City. Chicago, New Orleans, all of these fucking cities that are dem run and have been dem Shit run holes. for decades. Rudy was have Rudy. the highest murder rates, all sorts of crime. L.A. and they fucking suck. Chicago economically. Detroit, Atlanta. But the Democrats are who you should be voting for. Wake the fuck up. Oh, we got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. Well, I Harry, it. Harry, where did, oh, fuck. God bless it. Where'd it go? Oh, come on. Where'd it go? Harry something. God. Do not delete yet, no, people. Delete. I'm trying Do to find Do not kick it. somebody off. Oh, they, oh, shit ton of them loaded in. Where the fuck is it? I'll find it in a second. Jeez, where the hell did he go? Did, he fucking, did someone delete it already? No! Did they get deleted already? Fuck! Let me see. 
guy's name was Harry something and said that that Trump Trump and Tucker couldn't write the ship. So I don't know if he was one of them or maybe he's just, you know, negative Nancy. It was Harry something. And then just friggin' Come on, Harry, speak again. Damn it. Damn it. Tell us your bullshit. Let's go. Tell us why they can't, Harry. That's what I want to hear. The wife just said something too. Tammy just know. said, Michael Sherman Gardening, I sent my husband the link. Thank you. Oh. oh, that was the link that she sent. Oh, okay, got it. Now I know why I got a link sent when we were doing some things. Cool. Is it more meat? Am I getting more meat? I got meat. Uh, he's in California, Michael. Oh, okay. I didn't get meat from California. Like, I barely Southern read New it. Jersey, yeah. Carrie barely, Lake's pretty good. I barely fucking read it and then it gone. I, either he, he deleted it or someone or one of our wrenches deleted it. Wrenches, don't be deleting until we get to see shit. Yeah. I want to conversate with somebody if they want to, like, you know. I'd love to. Well, there's no Harry showing up, yeah. so. He gone. He gone. Jimmy Budweiser. Change your name, dude. Yeah. Back in the early 90s, I was preaching to avoid Chicago and the rest of the city shitholes. You would bring them to their knees in days. Yep. Yep. Exactly. People don't, I mean, all you folks understand, but I said this in one of my videos not too long ago. There's a handful of motherfuckers <laughs> that you don't fuck with. Farmers and truckers. Especially in this country. Because and, and if you ex, like eating... And ex-good military people. Yeah. If you like eating... You don't fuck with those two people, especially if you live in a city where 100% yes. of your shit shows up by Austin. truck. Austin, Grumpy, I bought How Are You Getting It Yet sweatshirts for yeah. my dad and I from Wisconsin. Had some people already ask me what it means. Good. Good. Explain Did you tell them? them? Hopefully you told them. I got water to snow again. I'm doing pretty good, though. That was my third beer. All right, fork me now. I heard today the Hochul is going to cut over $100 million from the town highway department's budgets for road repairs. Um, you can break your teeth in the potholes. Yep. But here's another thing. A lot of the upstate schools' budgets have been cut, too. Well, what do you think is going to happen there? Local taxpayers will wind up paying more. Oh, but it's okay to take all that money there, Kathy, and give it to the fucking illegals, right? You fucking dumb cunt. Mark Comer timed him out. Mark, relax, damn it. What did the person say? We got to be able to read it. Sierra snitched on you. No, I don't know what the dude said. Usually it pops up and shows this person's been timed out, but. You guys got to let us see it first. Ed Calvert. My wife got me the Are You Getting a Yet hat. It's my church hat. Well, don't get yourself in trouble at church, for God's sakes. Exactly, Austin. If they have to, if they have to ask what it means, then they ain't fucking getting it yet. They, don't, they haven't had enough pain yet. Pain is so shit. That's the only way you can get the sheep. Well, fork me now. You can drink it, but we ain't. It's the only way you can get the sheep to open their eyes is to give them enough pain. Just like how when you get a brand new puppy and it shits on the carpet and you swat its ass and you rub its nose and it's shit and then you toss it outdoors and eventually it figures out from the pain that, hey, I probably shouldn't shit on the carpet. That's how you convert the sheep. Not by talking to them, not by spitting facts, not by showing decadal videos or whatever. They've been so programmed by the trillion dollar propaganda that this government has shoved out for decades. They have to suffer enough Tam -tam pain Tam-Tam is dying because Andy is fucking something. <laughs> I, I have to fucking read the rest of it. <clears throat> oh, Scott, this is your first and last time you vote? You fucker, did you finally fucking register? Better be not your first and last time, you fuck. Who's Instagramming me? Somebody about Christy Noem. Oh, Jesus. People, we're in a fucking... Wow. I'll read it later. Speaking of Instagram, and I don't want to piss people off, but I'm going to piss you off. Who I don't cares? Care. Slow the fuck down, folks. Slow your roll on the amount of Instagram shit some of you fucking send me every fucking day. Oh, Dick... <laughs> Dickwad sends me enough, but... <laughs> Holy oh, fuck, oh, get a job, get, get a life, 
Get yeah. a hobby. Put the something. phone down. Put the phone down. Yeah, I tell him. Put the fucking phone down. My Walk away. My back hurts. I'm sitting in my comfy chair. Leave me alone. You Holy fuck. This. Some of you. It's like, do you work? <laughs> I get up in the morning. Loaded. I'll go. Don't, don't, right. don't, 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 you know, don't do a visual here, but I'll go in to take my morning shit at whatever, 7 o'clock or something. And Too this late. time of year, we're not real busy. <clears throat> Too late to visualize. Look at my phone, and I've got bring, umpteen bring, bring. million Instagram posts from yes. five or six hours ago. What the fuck are you doing at two in the morning? Not sleeping. I don't get it. Chill. Most of what you sent me, I've already seen. I have to. But holy be, fuck! I finally got to the point now. Before I send it, I'll scroll down a little bit farther and make sure that you didn't like it already. <laughs> and half the time, you are. You would have gotten double. If you hadn't already liked it from me, which is funny. Okay, Sierra's telling us. Harry said bad news. Trump and Tucker can't save this ship. And Dixie Dogs said this is a nice break from taxes. Besides, I feel dirty. I feel as if I'm helping contribute to sex trafficking, drug traffic. You are. We all are. Yeah. That's, that's what our government is doing. Well, come on back there when you get your however long... Mark shit canned you for, hopefully not too long. Harry, Y'all and tell us why it's such bad news. Y'all wrenches need to calm down. We want to conversate with some of these people. Maybe we could convince them otherwise. Probably not. But, you know, when they get too retarded, then, yeah, then we'll boot them. But we'll tell you. We love them. I, that's our that's our main goal is to conversate with someone <laughs> from the other side. We're not We're not like them. I would. I want to conversate with them. They can't stand us. Lloyd Nace. <laughs> At least they're writing to you, and they're not playing with themselves or watching porn. <laughs> Could be worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, my last video, I put right in there, and he's never commented on the video, which is why you haven't seen it pinned. The guy who goes back to old videos, there, uh, L. Vessel or whatever, Vessel or whatever his name is. He's the guy who makes the clips, is he? And he? No, and he talks shit in old videos because he ain't got balls enough to do it in new videos. You know, or when a video comes out. Or on a live stream. And I told him, I said, next time you do it, I'm going to shit can you. It ain't got nothing to do with free speech. I'm all for free speech. But Let's when you got to talk shit in past that's days. completely fucked up and not back it up any... That, you know, I'm sorry. Before I left, the wife said, like, oh, we got to figure out how to get people to come together. I don't, nope. Now, when it comes to liberals, I don't, I don't think there is any, they have to, they have to suffer and learn themselves because they've just been All programmed right. and programmed by the propaganda and you can't, it's literally a mental illness, I believe. I think someone actually did. Dixie study dogs, they end up screaming even when you maintain a calm voice. Well, that's what the left does. They scream. They're violent. Oh, yeah. Timothy Hanneman says that we should, if we have time, watch a YouTube channel called Three of Seven Project. He's ex Navy SEAL. Good stuff. Sean Ryan podcast, y'all. Oh. Yeah, Buck. Yeah, Buck. Five. Keep calling you that, Carl. Carl! <clears throat> Sean, real name, Carl to us. Carl. Carl. Says Andy and I tried Les one. Buck Fiden, 7 p.m. The 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 what you put it up once, Carl, put the it up gringo. again. The gringo. Yeah, gringo something or like my mind shot. Yeah. He had one come on that was just I mean, fucking retarded. And how do you get I kept going out? back and forward with him? Carl kept going back and forward. Drag with him. one with you, Carl. Get him on here one of these But nights. he wouldn't. He just kept saying the most fucked up things. Mainstream media. I kept out. asking him. Tell us the, you know, give us, give like I've said before, give me Biden's top five list of the great things he's done. Unemployment is a lie because people came back to work. Exactly. Work, and then it came out that they inflated the fucking numbers anyway. Shocker. The economy is shit because you can't ruin the economy on purpose and then Ease up on okay. interest rates and then call that a win. Amandis or Amandis, however it's pronounced. Amanda Hug and Kiss. Secret Garden says, I'm a little stressed, but totally excited. Alrighty then. 
Are you fairly new? Because I don't remember that name. Well, there might be. I got over over a thousand new subscribers, and I I put out the link. So hopefully, hopefully exactly, Dixie Dog. It really pisses them off when you start dropping hard facts. So they just start saying, Please "This go. dude was saying the stupidest fucking things on Carl's live." I mean, it just. I can't even remember Carl what someone was that were so stupid. He had one that he kept repeating over and over, and it's like, dude, just simply give your side. We're listening. Tell me your present. Yes, we're listening. Tell us how great things are. I mean, I can sell you my present, no problem. No problem. Cheap gas. Derek. Economy cranking. His YouTube channel no is war. barn talking. Yes. It's like it sounds. B-A-R-N talking. Yeah, because I go out in the barn and yell on my phone like we're in his barn yelling in his phone. It's my barn, but I'm not a farmer. Paciana, just woke up, but not woke. I like that. Mm. From a cat nap and never got the notification and was unsubscribed. Exactly. Yep. Sorry, you I know. You gotta check the screw tube. Allegedly, it's. Y'all need point, to check it all the time. Hopefully, soon, sooner than later, allegedly, Elon is supposed to make X like YouTube. All right. So when that happens, might be moving my shit over. I know there. we're behind again, but Lee. Bah. Sorry. Bless you. Lee just put up Jimmy's channel, and Carl just put up his channel. Appreciate you. Carl will be doing one seven tomorrow. I I'll be might off. or might not be there, Carl, tomorrow. I don't know. My daughter's coming home this weekend from college. So. I'll be kicking one out Friday night. I don't do lies much because I talk too much, and I wouldn't be able to read the comments. So. I'll try to get there. I got there late last week and saw this hey. fucktard with all his nonsense going on. I really wish we could get one in here, but I, I do like conversating with 800 and... Your phone says 837. 829 on yours, 837. So 800 and change like-minded folks that know that this is all bullshit. And that's why we're here. Well, be rad. I never did Instagram. I never did fucking social media until I started this. So I was like 52, no, 50, whatever, 54 no, years ago, 53. It's all the reason you did is you got tractors. <laughs> yeah, because I got the combine stuck. And my wife well, made I a video for all the people that helped get it out. But next thing I know, I'm on YouTube. YouTube famous he is. So I did an Instagram. It's Andy the Grumpy Farmer on Instagram to go along with this. And now I get into fights with idiots on Instagram. So Welcome to social media. And Instagram, <laughs> and Instagram. Do you really want to post this, or would you like to edit it? Because they don't like what I say, and I, I say, every post time. it anyways. Every Fuck time. you. Even when I don't swear or call the governor a cunt, I still get that. I don't understand. I'm really trying to get kicked off of Instagram, but I haven't yet. Funny if I dig. I got a backup channel. Yes, like Chum Lee. Canada's prices are worse than ours. Oh, them poor bastards. But look at that fucking... That Paris guy, or Paris. Or look at that prancing little... He's, feminist he's, that's running that country. He's got his ass in some hot water now. Because I guess one of their chem labs were fucking, you know, trading drug deals with fucking China. And that Paré guy, or Paré, or I can't pronounce his name. If, if we got a Canadian folk in here, let me know who that conservative guy is. How you pronounce his name. I like him. <laughs> I, follow, I see all this shit on Instagram. <laughs> Adam. Great things Biden has done. One, ate ice cream. Two, fell off a bike. Three, got the right size diapers. Four, <laughs> remember Jill was his wife. Five, you know the thing, man. Come on. <laughs> I'd take him behind the gym and kick his ass. That was a good one. I'm sure you would, Joe. Oh, that was you a fucking, good one, Adam. You fucking re... Oh. It's elder abuse at this point. Really. It Simon is. Priestman, what's up? Do you all see that... that somebody did a parody... Because I guess... Um, you know, I don't want to speak ill will of the dead, but his dead son... Yeah. Was a lawyer and fought for elder abuse. And, 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 and he someone always, and someone had done a video. And he always tried. Yeah, I saw that. But he always tries uh, to say his son died in a war. Ah, uh, no. Died from cancer. Yeah, yeah. Michigan fireman. You're exactly well, right. I mean, like when those guys got blown up at Abbey Gate in Afghanistan he, when that bullshit fucking pullout that we did. He and said he had to talk about his dead fucking son that died of cancer. I've yet to see one Biden head or flag in my town. Weird, he, huh? and, and he's where's from the, Michigan. Where's the bill? Michigan's red as fuck. I mean, they just look at who just won up there. Just saying. He's gonna turn. I mean, I'm thinking there's gonna be. I don't think New York's gonna turn. Maybe. I doubt it. But I think there's going to be a bunch of blue states that are going to turn this president. If 
They don't steal it. Because I had a follower, I don't know, Nina, if you're watching, again, big shout out in case you're late. I had a follower get a hold of me some way. I won't say how, but she right, got yeah. a hold of me. And her question was, how do we make sure that they don't cheat this time? Lisa Kelber just said she subscribed to you. Appreciate you. She's been here for quite a while. I have no, and I, told, I, was, I have no idea, other than unless you are part of your electrical, you know, electrical, electoral whatever, but even if you look back in 2020, they were shoving the, the Republican inspectors out the door while they were pasting up newspapers hound, in the window. Hound of Goshen, exactly. Lie to a conservative to make him mad. Tell a libtard the truth to make him mad. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Every time. That's right. Popcorn was a bad dude, Adam. Puking. And the kids used to rub my leg. And the hair would stand Sick. up. Are you proud of yourself for voting for that, you fucktards that did? How about his daughter? Let's get him a sex doll. How about his daughter's diary? Where she used to have to wait till like midnight to get in the shower because that way she knew dad wouldn't come in the shower with her. And this is a teenage girl. That ain't fucking right. Just saying. Lisa Calvert, is your daughter a liberal-minded now that she's going to college, or is she awake? Oh, no, she ain't liberal. She walked out of one of her economic classes because the teacher was trying to... Professor, excuse me. Really? Was trying to talk oh. about how we all needed to vote for Biden again because of everything he's done for the economy. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. So my daughter got up and walked... Oh, Fuck she... Fuck it, Chelsea! <laughs> my daughter's a 20-year-old version of me. <laughs> Except for... She has PMS and all them yeah. other women things yeah. that I don't want nothing to do with. No. So, so mood swing wise, we're a little different, obviously. <laughs> but Catch her on the bed, Dave. Other than that, that, piss her off and she'll look right at you and say, fuck you. So, <laughs> Well, I mean, those of you that haven't met Mrs. Grumpy Farmer, you know, put those two combinations together and then you have an offspring. Yes, you're going to have, yes. I, I, you know. Sierra says if you do a live, let her know she wants to be there for that. For me? Yes. Sierra wants to come to a live stream? No, she says if you do a live, text me. I want to be there for that. Like, be I don't there, know. be there? I don't know be... if that means be there or be on the, I don't know. Explain yourself. Well, when you tell her you're doing, you'll know. Hey! <laughs> Everyone will know if I'm going to go live. But What is Jimmy's Instagram handle? Barn talking? Same as YouTube, barn talking. How? Just like me, except for I had to put Andy in front of the Grumpy Farmer because apparently some other fuck on on Instagram is named Grumpy Farmer. How? I don't know. Well, the, actually, there is another barn talking on YouTube. Yes, and we know we're blurry. We've explained that. It's the lights. lights. He won't let me. Ain't nothing we can do about it right now. All you have to do is convince Mrs. Grumpy Farmer to let me convert the screen in porch. Happen. The screen imports off the pool into a podcast. First of all, she's not going to want to listen to us two fucks It'd right on the other side of the I wall can yelling the wall. and screaming. No, I can insulate the wall. it would be fine. Just y'all have to like, you know, get a petition together, whatever. Adam. Flood his comments. I'm trying to We get, can build it. I told him the other day. Build it and they will and come. And I don't know if you're here, Jeff. <laughs> I told Jeff too. I'm like, I spent one morning when I was out here before I went in for lunch. I won't say the whole morning. I spent like an hour trying to get thrown off Instagram. I was like, mm. fuck it, I've had enough. I was just pissed. So I'm like, fuck you, cunt. Uh, just everything I could. <laughs> I wasn't getting, I, I couldn't even get a warning. <laughs> I'm like, what wow. the fuck? Wow. Must be the AI bots were not tracking your ass that day. I still have the warning. My, my, my flag from YouTube is still up. That's like over Simon's here. asking to follow you when you get home. Yeah, I got you. I got you, buddy. See, he, he still won't make his public. I made mine public because bring it in. Bring it in, motherfuckers. I get the no. haters. I put up an Instagram post about how it snows bad. And I say, Mother Nature must be a Democrat. I get 30 people to argue with that. <laughs> because it just, it like somebody said earlier, it pisses them off. And they want to start arguing. They start right in with Trump this, Trump that. It's like, why? Because I said Mother Nature was a Democrat. That just shows your fucking hatred for one man is so great. Oh, oh yeah. But prior to him running for president, you can give two shits about him. Funny. Josh, when do you not swear not call the governor a cunt? Um, Good never, question. Never. I don't know. 
I wonder how I many, can't answer that because we'll, we'll have to go through the comments. Like he said, never. You know, this is, like I said in the beginning of my last video, those of you who might have watched it, I had a bunch of comments talking about language and blah, blah, blah. Oh, this Simon answered happy. your question. Pierre Paulivier. That guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. Pierre Paulivier. I love the way he handles the press. Who said that? Simon Priestman, well, people, the one who just wants you to, right. when you get home, Will do. accept him. For Roger. He did an interview not too long ago, and you know how the, the Canadian liberal press is just as bad as, as American. Well, people say. Oh, they're in bed together. People say that you said this. Who said? And this guy is calm and cucumber, never gets excited. I love, I, I really hope you Canadian, I'm sure we got some Canadians in here. I hope you folks can get that guy in there and get rid of that little fucking twinkle toe fucking Trudeau piece of shit. Sparky Wonder Dog, what's up? No Wonder Dog. What was that? Oh, language. Yeah. Bite, bite him took care of popcorn because he was a bad dude. Bad dude. That was a bad dude. <laughs> popcorn was a bad dude. When and we I'm, sure, hang out. I'm sure Andy can say the same thing. This isn't the Happy Rainbows Unicorn Channel. If you can't stand the There ain't words, a fucking unicorn in sight, yeah, folks. So. If you can't stand the fuck we we talk real talk here. We smoke, we drink, and we talk here. just like normal. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick you up a little. Oh, okay. There's no rain. No flags or nothing here. Oh, yeah, There's the usual That's fuck the Biden time. and fuck you for voting for him. There's our Second Amendment flag. You probably can't read it very well. Sorry if my fingers are in the way. Your fingers are in the way. And over there is our Canada and the United States shaking hands flag. Most all of which have been given to me by you people, you some good scribbers, people. Some some scribbers. Barb and Chelsea got me the Second Amendment flip. I gotta get my tears on. Right but, and no, I can't remember everyone's I'm name, so I'm sorry. I'm going blind. All the people that have sent me shit. Oh wait, <coughs> for newbies too. I do remember your name, Jeffrey Hahn. Got me my you be you and I'll be me. Little wood thing there I put up, and oh, the other one. Finger, they can't see it. All right, I'm sorry. Can you see it now? There you go. And the, and the other one says, are you getting it yet? I can't get any closer because the cord's not long enough. There you go. We got, the, oh. we, got the, we got that sweet fucking rack in there, though. You got that oh. one. And sadly enough, now I got to piss. Be cool to see Elon write Trump a $350 million check just for shits. That would be fucking, that would be neat. Those of you, speaking of Elon and writing checks, uh, I can't remember her name. You know, I'm a Gen Xer, so obviously I'm a Star Wars fan. And I was, was, watching The Mandalorian. I think it was the first season they had that uh, that female chick on there. And I cannot remember her name. If one of you guys remembers her name, let me know. But anywho's, there was a viral video going around. I'm sure you guys might have seen it if you're on the socials of Elon telling the uh, the president or whatever, the CEO of Disney, to go fuck himself. Well, after that, Elon posted on X, and of course, if he says anything on X, it goes batshit, said that if any of you have been hurt or whatever or mistreated by Disney, let me know. And that said female actor that was fired from The Mandalorian because she didn't align with their liberal fucking thought process was let go. She got a hold of him, and he's literally paying for her lawyer fees to sue Disney because they broke her contract. Right. I think that's fucking cool. I forgot I could do the smart thing and unplug the phone for a minute yeah. to actually show you folks these things up close. All right, so hang on. You're going to get hands again. All right, so Jeffrey Hahn sent me these. The Are you getting it yet? And you be you, I'll be me. Lots of you sent me stickers. You want to send Jim and I stickers? We put them up around the... You know, I'm running out of room there, but uh, I, I put them up in other places. My bear fridge. Mark Calmer sent me that. That was pretty cool. Of course, we got Michael Brash's sign that he makes Gina for Carrero. us. Gina Carrero. Roger, Roger. Yes. I'll get you a little closer. Yep, see? Fucked around and found out. Fucked around go. and found out. There we go. It's coming back in. Here it's we coming go. back. Ish. I fucked around there and found go. out. Got it. Got it. Here Don't go. move anymore. IH Farmer appreciates you, bud. <coughs> Coil Racing Engines appreciates the sticker use. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. I got yours posted up. We got t-shirts, yeah. too. got t-shirts. Hell yeah. We'll wear them this Don't. summer when it's a little bit above. That's right. Years. And you'll see, because don't feel bad, but I put that and some other t-shirts that have been sent to me in my work shirt drawer. So I'll be wearing them out 
when I'm working the spring planting and whatnot. Stonewall Jackson, excellent show. You know, well, are you watching still? Jackson? You must be. You should make a name by a three by three by five or you're, are you getting it? It's on the outside of the barn. Oh, we got a flag out there, but it's dark. I can't show you that. And then he got bitched at because we hung it underneath the American over. or over the American flag, yep. which is a picture of the American. This is the thing that gets me. And we've talked about this before, like with my language. He gets it on our Might live be my next video. I'll I've got it. I've got thing. it on my my channel. All your language. So if my language bothers you, but the border being wide open and children being sold into sex slavery and twenty two year old fucking nursing students being murdered, murdered by a fucking illegal alien doesn't bother you. Fuck you. Wrong channel. Go yeah, fight, go move fight. on, because subscribers yes. really don't mean that much, because you ain't nope. seeing the little ads in the video, are you? Nope. Ain't a dime being made here, other than nope. if you buy a fucking sweatshirt, t-shirt, hat, something like that. Me too. Appreciate you. And when you go to mine and you scroll through my shit, his is right below it, and vice versa. And the only thing I do with it is try to do more cool shit in the videos. Not making a fucking red cent here. We're just, we're gathering lions and saying fuck off to the sheep. That's oh, what we're doing here. You don't like the video, or you don't like the language? I've had people Move say on. that to me Move about on. him, but I've had them say it to me about me too. That, Move on. Well, you could get your point across without the language. No, I can't. Well, as we said, there's no rainbow flags and unicorns here, and it sounds like you need those, so move on to that channel. Yeah. Like Charlie Kirk. Ain't no DEI here, motherfucker. Right. Like Charlie Kirk and, and was it uh, Matt Walsh or whatever. They're calm, cool, Well, I collected. get it. They're making money. Yeah, That's making their money. living. Right. That's right. their living. We don't make any money. He here. pounds nails. I put seed in the ground. Yeah. That's, That's our it. living. Yeah. That's it. That's fine. <laughs> whatever. My thought process is, is maybe I need to shock some people and maybe slap them in the face a little bit and say, hey, wake the fuck up. Shit's not right. Any of you know how to get a hold of Sirius XM to get us signed up for our own podcast or something? Let's go. Let us know. But it's going to be this. Well, actually, we'll, we'll get paid then and we'll be happy. But other than that, he if, pounds nails. If, I put seed in the if ground. you build the room, we can go on yeah. Spotify. It doesn't cost anything. We can do it. But we probably podcast. can't be ourselves on Spotify. Oh, no. I watch a lot of... I watch, Joe, have you watched or listened to a Joe Rogan podcast? Yeah. He swears more than I do, which is a lot. <laughs> so, and Joe Rogan is the highest paid podcaster there is. So let's do it. Convince, convince Mrs. Yeah. Grumpy Farmer to uh -huh. convert the screen porch into a podcast. Yeah. How, how tall is your basement? We got, is how, it? Oh, fuck, you got a duck in there. Some people were <laughs> short back in the 1800s. <laughs> I'm planning on putting an addition on the back of my pole bar. Maybe I'll put a podcast room back there. I'm just going to need Get some us. money. Shit can't Bonnie's Howard Stern. He's gonna, turned into a yeah, fucking fuck, old liberal piece of shit. We'll take one. his time slot. He's fucking Ben one. The same guy that fucking did blackface. We well, still got 850 people in. Same and you're fucking, catching up with a thumbs up, too. Same fucking cocksucker that did blackface decades ago, and he wants to <laughs> preach to us about getting a fucking vaccine. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. But I, my problem is, is getting the internet out to the barn. Yeah. That's why, that's why most of you, if you watch me, I have to do a recorded video because I don't have interwebs well, past and, my garage. This is actually on LTE. Yeah, I got like two ticks right now. Yeah. But I'm fixing the change once I can. And we get it. better service during the, you know, summertime. summertime anyway. yeah. Well, other than that one time we had to go out and sit on, <laughs> well, on the tailgate yeah. of Butch because the in. fucking yeah. shit was being stupid. Oh my god. But this is our once a month conversating with people. <laughs> little, little John says, "I like the English language you speak. There's no Spanish here." <laughs> yeah. It, it's like I told him when he first no, started. And Josh, if you're still watching, I told you the same thing. Who? I appreciate all of you who went to V&J Chicken Ranch and subscribe. If you're still new here, go give Josh a sub. I gotta check that. Good somebody food said, on there, somebody man. Had, somebody told me to check that out. I got. Yep. You got to send me. But that. it's like I told him and I told Josh. You got to conversate back with people. Yes. Okay. Tell me how, and I'm not patting myself on the back for this, but tell me how many other YouTube channels you watch where there's. 300, 400, 500, even over a thousand comments, and 99% of them get a return response from the YouTuber. Because I do, I or at least I try. 
I had that viral <coughs> video that I did two weeks ago. I got 22,000 views. I had over 460 comments. And at least, at the least, they got a thumbs up from me. And depending on the comment, I would write that. I spent, you can ask my wife if she's still in here. I spent probably an hour sitting at the kitchen table yeah. scrolling. I mean, it's fucking, go back to some of my videos where there's 1,500 comments. I mean, if you watch the I bet you 1,450 I mean, of them have a return comment. All these big shots on the, I mean, how I many, how many replies are you going to get on YouTube from some big shot that's got the you know, villages of <laughs> A lot of them, none. And by the by, the by like veteran biker that I made mention of in one of my videos a couple a couple ago, he's he's putting out he's doing live streams like twice a fucking day, a video a day. He's got over a million subscribers. I watched him in his live streams. He might have three hundred fifty people. We got eight hundred and forty three of you folks in there right now. So that just tells me. Of course, he's got a he doesn't have the swears. You know, he's sponsored. You know, he's tied to corporate. Tammy, who? We're not. Who's she? That, what? No. <laughs> she says, shout out to the Hodge twins for Jimmy's new tee. Yeah! Both actually my t-shirt and my sweatshirt. You know, here's a funny, here, Tammy, here's a funny one for you too. <clears throat> okay, so I just like, you know, the head. So I was out here a week or so ago, the head. <laughs> I go to the chiropractor. And I'm laying down on my stomach. He's cracking my back. Well, apparently I had, like, in the back of my head on each side, two, <laughs> two little tufts that I didn't get mowed. Missed a spot. And he goes, you missed a couple spots. <laughs> and See? Barb's always bitching at me. She goes, why don't you just go up and let Tammy do it? I go, because it takes, like, two minutes to just do this. But it's about quality sometimes. Yeah. I still have so, her So Barb took the two little tufts off for me. So she eventually, if she stops doing that for me, Tammy, I'll have to come up so you can just go. The wife does put the, the quarter beard. inch one on and go to town. I I can't. I always fuck the beard up, so I let the wife do the beard. And then I get to look. <laughs> I get to look up at the. You know, I Tom get, Lee, can you have Andy Horgan on here? Well, Andy's probably twenty five minutes away, and the only problem with having like guests like that that have YouTube channels that make money off their YouTube channels, I don't know if they'd want to be on here. Because I don't know if it would hurt them. That's up to them. Andy who? Andy Horgan, Farming, Fixing, and Fabricating, Farming oh, Channel. Oh. A lot of those guys, no offense to those guys, I mean, they're doing what they're doing, and God bless them, but a lot of those guys don't step into the whole political well, you watch that. and can't talk this you, way. You watch that Brian's Farming videos, which I don't watch very much of anymore. All the corn. But they right. fucking, they bleep out. Like if his old man says damn or hell, they bleep it out. What the fuck, folks? I'm into reality, not unicorns real, and yeah, rainbows. This is real life here. I mean, you don't like the fuck all the time, whatever. Fuck! I mean, but <laughs> if somebody's going, you know, if I'm working on a piece of equipment and it's a verb, something it's doesn't work right and I go, shit, I'm not fucking, oh, Barb, go Me through too. it when you're editing and yeah. I think I said shit. Spend, spend oh, my goodness, I said twice. shit. Yeah, spend two hours extra going through each individual's, you know, voiceover or whatever you want to call it, and make sure you beep out all, all the right. swears. You better start commenting to Jack Gutman because he says, you're about the only one that will put a like on my comments. Out of all the people I am subscribed to, I can't even get Jimmy to like my, or any of my comments. I can't, on catch, I can't catch everyone, bud. I'm sorry. It's a lot. Okay. And here's the other thing. I and I don't, just put up and he, might, he might be able to agree with this. It all the like, it's hard to explain unless you have a YouTube channel. But if I go to the video on the YouTube app, I see certain comments. But then if I go to the analytics, which if you own a YouTube channel, is where you can see like you know your age demographic and all that shit. I will see <laughs> other comments that I didn't see on the video. Oh, speaking so of that, I, sometimes I'll just miss you because I don't. I want to read on. this one, but speaking of what he's saying. Some people will say, well, my comment got deleted. No. YouTube just won't put it they up. They separate comments, and they put some in a different spot where you have to go through and okay them. I got Well, if I got 500 to 1,000 comments, Duh. I'm not going through another 500 in another different area on YouTube to see if they're okay to okay them. It's, just, it's too much. I'm sorry. Daunting. So if you say a trigger word YouTube don't like, 
You're not going to see your comment on the video. I, I mean, I'm sure redo you, it without the trigger word. That's I've all I can people, say. I've had people come on and say this is my third time posting yep. because YouTube. Took I get my it too. Birth. Yeah. So if I don't get to you, I apologize. My, I didn't see you, or it's just there's a shit ton. My balls itch. Biden 2024 for hospice. <laughs> my balls itch. Yeah. My my up balls itch. That definitely should be on the. It be on the it's board. over there. We don't have any more room. It's we over need, there. We need a bigger whiteboard. Oh, you gotta go put that one on. No, that's Fuck. good. M a y a ball zitch with a z. Oh, that's a good one. You're going on our board, the whiteboard. We haven't had the whiteboard out in quite a while. But that's a good name. That's going on the whiteboard. <coughs> M A Y A Ball Zitch with a Z. For those that might not have Yeah, we'll show you the whiteboard. I got a smaller whiteboard Tom Corey sent me that my shitty, we use for haters. My shitty handwriting. But there's the whiteboard with all the funny names. All we, the, we've all had all states, 50 states. Countries. I think we're up to like 14 or 15 countries. Canada, UK, Ireland, Brazil, Australia, Scotland, Mexico. Uh, Belize, I don't remember that one. Holy yeah, shit. yeah. Holland and Stan Dudek. If I you didn't drop f bombs, I can't, my, I can't read my own. If record. you didn't drop f bombs, I probably wouldn't watch. There you go. What was my balls are itching? M a y a, Maya. My m a y a, Maya. Ball b a l l zitch with a z. Zitch. Maya ball zitch. Up there, like, you gotta go on the board. That's a good one. Now, don't everybody start going and making new names now, because yeah, the whiteboard is very full. As you can see, you can't fit me more. Not like my handwriting is worth a shit. I can't even read it. All fifty states. Well, that's just it, Ed Calvert. You said I reply back to you several times, but you don't post for a reply. But it's appreciated. <clears throat> That's why I do it, because we appreciate you guys Hell yeah. commenting and, conversation. and converse, conversating with us. And conversate with everyone else. And like I've told people. I educate the girls I down may, at the gas station for I may sake. not get you on this video, but I know I've got you on a previous one, and I'll get you on a future one. If you're commenting on my video from five days ago, I may never see it unless I go back to the video. I'm not going back. Sorry. I was going back three days. Because they don't give you... It's like they don't give you... The notifications yeah. and comments after so many days. Yeah. Because when I had that viral one, I kept scrolling down and I was seeing comments that I didn't see from two videos prior. I was like, what the hell? <clears throat> so we try to get to y'all and we appreciate it. And again, the most important part is conversate in your local area with anyone that wants to listen, even if they don't want to listen. Get the conversation going, talk to people. You won't feel by yourself. Maybe you'll run into some fucking tart or whatever. Shoot some facts at them. They don't like it. They can fuck off past the deer stand. Who gives a shit? Apparently Wes is here. He says, oh, I'd do a podcast. Well, you'd have to drive here from Jersey. That's the only problem. Jersey, ayo. <laughs> Why am I putting these out? I'm not reading them. Carl says, I don't have enough to pay a barber. No tufts here. You ain't got no fucking, ain't You're got fucking bald. You're fucking bald as hell. The shit don't even grow no more, brother. It's all that CVC wearing. Come on back. If you know, you know. Those are your man buns, Ace Maduro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ain't never going to see a man bun on this oh, motherfucker. Bullshit. When I was younger, I had hair down to my shoulders. I'll admit it. But I got kind of a bald spot going here, so there ain't much hair down yes. to the shoulder time anymore. Yep. yep. And I ain't buying no fake shit to pour on my head I'm, to make hair it, grow. I'm, for having I'm fucking old, I'm gray, I'm fat, and I'm ugly. I don't care. Haven't, haven't, Either like me or you don't. Haven't said daughter that you do. I'm actually pretty proud of you that the, you have the amount of hair that you actually do. Shit. Yeah, tell me about it. Fucking hell. The fact that Barb and I have any fucking sense left. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We got one, two daughters, and three sons, and five grandkids. Oh, speaking of which, though, when we're talking about these, doing these things and stuff, we ain't into people just showing up. No, 
Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. We've had that happen a few times. Don't like it. <clears throat> We've had a few show up, Dale, if you're here watching, that we were okay with Dale showing up. Invited. The Dick Steele, when he brought us the paperwork we needed the night, we were talking about the gun laws and Dick stuff. Dick Steele. There's, there's a handful, at the most, yeah. people that we would be good with yeah. showing up. The beer studs, as we call them now, we used to call them beer fairies, but that just didn't seem right. No. Once we met him, once we yeah. finally figured out who I they mean, were. I mean, the one filled in for him the one night, yeah. if you can remember. So, yeah, was. once we figured out who they were, when yeah. the fucking eight-face mass there threw the beer oh, out of yeah. the car that, that one was, night. Yeah, if y'all remember down that video. Yeah, the middle hilarious. of summer. What we're like, who the fuck? <laughs> what the, they scream something at all. But we've had a few people try and show up. No, not a good plan, folks. No. Cause Knocks, I mean, I'm. I ever hear a vehicle pulling again while we're doing this? The door is gonna get locked, and no. you're gonna say who you are, and if again, you ain't who we want you to again, be, we're gonna tell you, fuck off. That's the deer stand. This is why we need a podcast room. I've had some people just, just saying freely show up here at the farm before. I will say, 99.99 percent wasn't bad. Chatted for a few minutes. Artie, if you're in, had a good chat with you one day for a half hour or so, a retired farmer. Had a guy recently that was in this area for a meeting. Knew I lived in the area. Hey. Fucking big sign out there. It says Denison Farms, so obviously found me. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> Knocked on the door. Older gentleman, probably late 60s. Chatted with him for a few minutes. Shook his hand. But... Had one stop one time that wasn't a good program. And you know me. Yeah, I'll tell you again afterwards. But off, off. And I made it clear that wasn't a good fucking program. So you should probably leave now. Yep. It's like, no, you don't just fucking show up. I don't show up at your work. And those of you that were military, like, you know what I'm saying? OPSEC, operational security. No one needs a. Because swatting is a real thing. Dr. Phil, Dr. Phil in the Joe Rogan episode he just did, said he's been swatted, fake swatted, over six times since Christmas of this year. And if you don't know what swatted means, that's when some psycho calls law enforcement and Bomb says threats. that there's such and such happening at such and such address, and they send Everyone in, you know, ready, ready for guns a-blazing, and people have lost their lives on that shit. So it's not good. So, yeah. Addresses and phone numbers redacted. Hard pass. Tom Wagner, there wouldn't be a dialogue if you guys were bleeped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll hear every fucking thing we were saying. <laughs> oh. No. No. You are I don't, I have, I mean... All I watch is YouTube, and I'm not petting ourselves. Dixie on the back. Dog, I do the same thing. He goes, if I spell things weird, it's not because I'm stupid, it's because I'm trying to get around Screw Tube sometimes. On Instagram, P H U C K. That's one of my favorite spellings. P H U C K. Un unalive. Yeah. Because Instagram Fuck and. Fuck spelled P H U C K. Instaface and Screw Tube is all AI. As far as they're like, you know, bad words. And there's just, they have certain keywords that when you put it in a comment, it flags it, whatever. And either it's, you know. Exactly, Alex. Discode or whatever. We so are you, not unicorn world. We are reality. Yeah, this is the shit that's really I don't want to live in unicorn world. Fuck, that's pretend bullshit. Once you finally have pried your eyes open, you can't not see it. That's my problem. That's why I'm always, you can ask my wife. And fucking Sierra says if we, didn't say, if we didn't say fucking cunt, she'd be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. hung out with her and her husband. They're fucking, those are good people. If y'all need, if you're all local, another Priest Farms plug here for y'all. If y'all live local to, uh, here in, in the sticks where we're at, get a hold of Sierra. They got some primo fucking meat, bud. And oh, by the way, we might be need to get in some beef, Sierra. So I'll be, I'll be hollering at you here when the guy gets some cash flow coming because this month has been scarce, to say the least. Not good for the Thank business. Thank you, Jay Birch. I try to be great at replying. I'm not always great, but you I try. You get fucked on more than I do. I just, I I've had a couple 
videos where there's 1,500 to 2,000. Holy shit. And, I mean, I try, but it's like right now. We're going to quit here in a couple minutes just so you know. It's he's quarter gotta, to nine. Gotta, he got to go nine, nine times. Chelsea and her boyfriend are, God I bless, imagine, here now God from bless college that for the weekend. The deal with her. <laughs> I've told him that. <laughs> <laughs> my, but, son, my son literally told me. I told him that. I go, do you fucking me, see Dad. what you're getting into? She scares me, dude. Dad. You see what you're fucking getting into, dude? Yeah. Okay. You all right, bud? But anyways, that's why we're quitting because the kids are here for the weekend. Kid. I passed but that kid a beer as soon as he got home. I, I mean, I don't want to have to go in the house, and I will tonight because there will be people who will comment on this after the fact, and I'll look at them and I'll comment back to most of them or whatever, but I don't want to spend all of my fucking free oh, time with my face in a phone. That's why I say, and you can get pissed off at me if you want, but chill on Instagram, folks. I mean... If you look, I've said this before, if you've sent me five or ten things today, you're one of many. So just chill. Send me one thing if you'd like. Fine. Like all yeah, this fucktard will send me. As soon as I get He'll home, roll six or eight at a time, and I'll I'm finally on, tell him, put the fucking phone down. I'm on the golf thing now. If it, if oh, it has anything yeah. to do with fucking I'll say, hey, golf, Jim, I send it here's in. a good movie on Netflix. Go watch the fucker, would fuck you? Net, fuck Netflix. Nope, not watching it. Nope, nope, fuck him. Fuck, fuck! Nope, not doing it. Holy God. During, during yellow flags in the race. I thought you were watching I am watching the race. It's boring right now. Here, look at this. You should see this. So Josh says he never gets notified when somebody comments unless I go back and look at the video and go through. Well, hopefully that gets better the more people you have, Josh, but <clears throat> I'll get a lot like my farm show video that I put out, whatever it was, five, six days ago. We went, well, we went a week ago today, so I think she put it out Saturday, so it'd be six days ago. Saturday and Sunday, I got a shit ton. Monday, I'd get a few notifications. By Tuesday, Wednesday, I was getting none. So if anybody's commented on that video in the last day or two, don't know. Unless I go back and look, I'm not gonna see it. Check. I appreciate it, don't get me wrong, but Check your analytics. I'm not going back to videos from a week ago and just going through, con it's just, it's too much. I mean, those of you who send me emails, I appreciate it. I do read 99.9% .9 of them. Oh, when Some three, of them three, end three, up three, in three, the three, spam. Three, 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 three. Your junk mail, so I may not, because usually junk mail, I just push select all, and delete. Because it's in junk, so it ought to be deleted, but. You just got to chill a little. You know, That's all. We I can mean. only do what we can do. And we only do this once a month because it is no, fuck. We used to do it twice a month, but that was oh, it just shit. got to the point. The wife couldn't stand me. She's like, you are miserable all the fucking time. Because to be semi, not to sit here and talk to you folks and, and sound semi-educated, you have to investigate and look at this shit. And when you do... Those of you that are here and know, when you look at that shit, it, 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 to me, it pisses me to fuck so, off. Simon. <laughs> Simon said you have to put subtitles up if Lube Tube starts bleeping you guys. I've read my subtitles. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's the one thing I used to like about that Brian Brown, the farm. What the fuck's his channel again? I forgot the name and I said it earlier. Squirrel. Farming with Brian Brown, whatever, that Brian Brown's farming channel there. Yeah, that one. I used to watch the ones where he'd put the subtitles up for his father, because <laughs> his father's in his 70s, and when the guy talks, <laughs> he like mumbles. <laughs> and when you're reading the subtitles, it's like <laughs> nothing that he's saying. It was funnier than shit. That don't make no damn sense. If he'd do that every time, I might watch every one of his videos, but oh, it was funnier than shit with the subtitles. But that take that takes some time. He's got somebody editing that. No, I think there's just something you can push that makes subtitles come up from ScrewTube. Oh. Huh. I mean, I've read and, my... and they try and put up what they think they're hearing. Oh, yeah. But it ain't what the dude's oh, no. saying. I mean, I've read mine on, on this. It's funny. Because they can't keep up with me, neither. And I'm pretty sure I speak decent English. I mean, that's the only language I really know. Other than a handful of Korean and... Yes, Zip, I remember Tuesday. German. Don't worry. You're right. I'm not like other customers. I remember. What do you got? An inspection due? You getting tires put on? I got to get my mother's oil changed and inspected. And I got to get the Chevy oil changed. Oh, 
Oh, Marvin, what's up? All right, there's just we're so fucking Holy far behind. Holy shit! Yeah, we're getting we're we're, getting we're closer, calling we're getting close to your bedtime. We're right? calling it because I gotta go over to the house. My daughter and her boyfriend are here, so we've we've been here over two hours. Out. Wait, we gotta look on the calendar because oh. there's still oh. 807 of you in here. And Sierra, you sure as shit tomorrow will fucking send me a what message day? asking me being a what smart day? ass. What day is yep. it? You'll be a smart oh, ass. Oh, 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 oh. That night, I always but forget. We won't tell to. you that word that you like us to I say. forget to all the time. It's fine. Fuck my calendar's still in February. He has to text me. Hey, you coming? Because I'll forget. Oh, you're going to get two in one month. It's March 29th. Leap year. March 29th. March 29th. That's four weeks. March Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern for you folks who are not around, y'all. <coughs> Sierra will send me something tomorrow. Oh, When's the next live stream? D -d 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 -d. We won't call her a name, though. She brought us, <laughs> her and Matt brought us beer tonight. We can't call uh, her names. Yeah, that is, I appreciate you. So March 29th, 7 p.m. Eastern. Yep. We'll be back. Those of you, I'll probably kick one out next Friday because I'm, I'm doing one every Friday now. I might but put it's out. it's recorded. Recorded. I'm I, not doing live streams. I might recorded. put out one more video between now and then. Shit's still slow. I mean, it just is. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to put out fluff bullshit videos. Well, you could have strapped your GoPro to your snowmobile today. Yeah. I'm gone yeah. mud bogging with Hell this idiot. Yeah, it was a fucking riot. I had fun today. It was really fun. And if more things piss me off between now and the next oh, live stream, I'm sure. I mean, I'll do a video. I mean, give, give what's going on in the world another four weeks. You can't tell me we're not going to have something to talk about. Fuck out of here. And remember down, ladies and gentlemen, if they don't like it, they can fuck off past the fucking deer stand. And what's I'm funny is if Trump gets reelected, we'll probably have more to talk oh, about because yeah. there'll be brains exploding it's across this country. End. Never going to so, end. All right, we're out. We'll see you March 29th. See you all later. Where the fuck is the end button now? They've changed things on Screw oh, 2. Oh, fuck. No, we can't. Oh, right there. Oh, cancel. cancel. There we go. Cancel? Stop fucking changing things, nope. Screw Tube. Nope. That didn't do it. X up here. Maybe. Are you sure you want to?